On Wednesday the 22nd of February, we are doing a special stream over on AFTV, a 12 hour stream to raise money for the Turkey-Syria earthquake appeal. You would have seen the horrific scenes and seen the amount of people that have passed away because of that earthquake. And we're coming together as a football community to raise funds. Special 12 hour stream, you're gonna have all your presenters from AFTV. We've also got guest presenters. We're gonna be doing a best of enemies special on there. And, and box office main event, genetically jacked, athletically stacked, half man, half amazing, modern day Mac. And I'm coming onto the Ops channel for Turkey and Syria. Forget these wastes, man. I'm doing it for Turkey and Syria. I'll be there like the Jackson 5. Just knows for a great cause. And I'm telling you, bruv, I hope you lot can join me. I was just about to say, and I might bring you on. Yeah? <laughs> no, 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 he's on, man. We're going to be doing a Best of Enemies special, like he said. 100%. There's also going to be loads of other shows on it. 12 hours, we're raising money. So make sure you check out the GoFundMe page as well. Mm -hmm. Over on the AFTV YouTube channel. Can't wait. Join us Wednesday, the 22nd, from 12 to 12. It's going to be big. And big up all the influencers getting involved, doing it for the cause for Turkey and Syria. I'm telling you, everything goes to charity and goes for the cause with them. You get me? Certain man might be doing it for a hairline, but I'm not one of them. Gang business. <laughs>
went walking for the fourth. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Uh, some some kind of fraudulence going on there, I'm sure. You know well, I'll tell you what, Arsenal fans are absolutely <laughs> buzzing in the comments. Come on, you gunners. Happy human. F- uh, football champ. Absolutely over the moon. Jorginho Prime Pirlo says Anakin Skywalker. Oh, is it a good Change signing now? Well, oh, is it? Wow. It's, it's now a good signing. There it's a go. good signing now. Not a difference. Right, 20 okay, minutes, mate. Cool. Right. T Yassin says, I want Fuad and Abby to hold that. <laughs> LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are holding it. They are crying. Um, hold that. Good evening, says Matt Hand. Who it is for Arsenal? Hold that, Fuad and Abby. To be fair, if City win, then things will start to look brighter again. It's, it's, it's just my only concern is that obviously I still think City aren't showing me completely consistently the city of old I but i do still have faith in them i think that i've always said i think if they get their noses in front like properly in front i think they'll stay in front i just need you to like really get your nose in front thing is well, i think i'm uh, looking at the arsenal results over the last couple of weeks as well they haven't been great no and it's almost you thought it was the beginning of the crumble yeah hey, you like. I want and I, more and crumble. I, yeah, yeah. having seen it have a midweek and then now for I've always said the twelve thirty kickoff on a Saturday is the yeah, worst. I thought time it would be the downfall today. It can ruin your whole weekend before yeah, yeah, anyone yeah. else has even played. So I said, "Oh, Villa lunchtime! This is going to be a nightmare." First half, you saw it two 0 down. You're thinking, you know, what? or two one. Sorry, this could be mm. a nice nightmare situation for them to kind of four weeks in a row now. Be that would have been the fifth game um, without a win, but obviously it was a, a massive win. Leon Lee says AGT predicted Villa to win. Hold that <laughs> as well. So everyone's getting it today. I haven't got to hold that. <laughs> um, AGT is such a bitter dude um, as well that I'm seeing here. Uh, title charges need games like this. That Jorginho moment <laughs> reminds me of Fernandinho at Leicester, says Brandon be talking. Very true as well. Remember that one? Fernandinho at Leicester. Company Wasn't it Vincent Company, company against, against Leicester? Oh, that unreal goal. No, um, maybe there was, was a Fernandinho at Leicester, to be fair, because there was a company at Leicester. Um, maybe there was a Yen Fernandinho Zheng at says, keep sal- salting us, Arsenal. You are all anti Arsenal fans. We are. Yeah. Well, and, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 oh, you're here now. What's the rules? 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 You hate us, right? You Ooh. thought it was done, yeah? You coming up on the street. Hey, hello. This guy, yeah. Don't give me nothing, yeah? Hello. This yeah, guy, don't you. you weren't smiling. I was saying hello. It this is a nightmare. Yeah, this is a nightmare. Yeah. What, is yeah. what are you saying? It ain't over yet. Bruh. Oh, yeah, it is over, though. It ain't That's over yet. <laughs> don't don't worry. Worry. Hey. I ain't worried about nothing. I'm making this with my juice. Woo. Oh, man. Animals, eh? I don't know what just Animals. happened there. Honestly. So, at half time, I saw Lee outside and he didn't want to say hello. He just dipped back in the studio. So I went in and waited. I bet he's going to come and say hello now. Right. Now he's, he's fine to come and say hello now. Oh, God. Yes. I've got no words for what just happened. Well, there, at, least, at least they think they're back. That's, that's p- pissed me off even more, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, clip that. <laughs> It'll be getting clipped. Don't worry about so that. That'll worry. be out in the next five minutes, I would say. Oh, wow. I don't know. Where do you go from there? They're right as well. Just, it's not over. They probably will win the league City. now. It's not come over. City. Do you think come they on. will? Maybe. Alex, Alex, who do you have more faith in, this Arsenal team or Liverpool over the last four or five years? Obviously Liverpool. Right, there we go then. So is it over? No. No, but that I do think this is, that you're this is going to go. This is going to City though. Yeah. This is going to be very close, and it's going to mm-hmm. go. And, and again, oh, I've always said I think that potentially the, the tide is on those two games where you play them. Obviously, you you won on Wednesday, and I think that whenever you have the next one, I know they have a game in hand of Everton, but I still think that that type of game, them going to Anfield, Newcastle away. Those are the yeah. turning oh, points. We do have some, though. I'll be honest. Robbie just I'll absolutely, be honest. he's just done us all there. What? Well, just coming oh, in and doing oh. that. They've just so, manhandled so we, me. We do have. We've got, <laughs> we've got Liverpool at home, Chelsea at home, Arsenal at home. Back but in. we've got Brighton, Brentford, and there's another one. I mean, today, Forest. Forest haven't lost at home I mean, in honestly, five months. The, the, the fact that you to lost to us as well. No, that's normal though. I know that's it's, a, I know it's normal. I know, normal. I know it's normal, but I'm, I was just disappointed in you. I was disappointed in Pep, the, the team he put out. Like, the minute when I was walking up to the ground, I looked down and see no Diaz or, La, or Laporte. I was like, what? Oh, God. Goku 3000. But we have Diaz and Laporte. So. With the super chat. We will get into the lineups mm. very shortly as well. Villa are a disgrace. How dare they bottle it, says Goku. And also uh, Jason says, we are back on top, baby. I'm sure that's Jason from home. 
Um, I'm sure that is Jason from home. Oh, God. A lot of people uh, buzzing to see Robbie and co um, hijack our, our set. So that's great. That was far more respectful. Let, let's go into so the let, Let's move on from well, Arsenal. Yeah, let's move on. I think uh, let, let's that's what Abby wants to do They're the sure. classy club, aren't they? Who? Sarcasm. Oh, right. oh what, they were throwing bottles at De Bruyne. <laughs> yeah, classy. Yeah. You see, see De Bruyne's control, though. Mm -hmm. a good touch. <laughs> He's better with bottle than them, man. Are. <laughs> um, it's right. quite ironic that they're throwing bottles. Anyway, we need to get off this. Awesome Lineups, topic. yeah. Lineups. Lineups. Manchester City at home today to Nottingham no, away. Forest. Away. Are they? Oh, sorry, away. they are away, away. today. What, how do they line up today, man? Uh, so we've got Edison in goal. Uh, back three of Walker, Diaz, Laporte, Bernardo Silva on the left. I think it's. And then in the middle, so that's four so far, five. Then in the middle, we've got... Gundogan. Is this all correct, by the way? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, in the middle, in the middle we've got Gundogan, Grealish, Foden and De Bruyne. And then up top, we've got Haaland. Okay. Okay. Let's double check that. that uh, it's right. No, it's it right. sounded... It's I right. mean, that's on it's, paper. It's, for me, it's our best team on there paper. There you go, on paper. You're happy yeah. with that. Maybe one, Ake right? in for Bernardo Silva, but I like Pep's looking for the overload in midfield, so he's always going to go with someone like Bernardo there. Okay, um, we're just going to go up the Nottingham Forest I'm happy we're not Forest focusing because everyone's saying City now needs to not focus on the Champions League. And I was worried that I was going to see Akanji, Rico Lewis, no disrespect to them, but we have to keep playing our best 11 in the league. We can't go, oh, we've got Champions League on Wednesday, so let's rotate. We can't do that. Yep. Not away at Forest as well. And lining up for Forest, Kaylor Navas in goal, Serge Aurier, Felipe, Worrell and Lodi make up with the back five. Uh, in the middle, you've got Oliveira, Colback, Shelby, number six, now his debut for Nottingham Forest today, Freuler, Morgan Gibbs-White and Brennan Johnson, who has definitely been turning some heads. I think apart from Saka, he's got the most goals under a 21 um, in the Premier League so far, Quality apart from player, Saka. Right? Um, but yeah, he's there as well. Prediction for that one? I'll go. Yeah. I'm going to go 3 0 City. I think I went 2 0 in our preview show. Yeah. But I'm adding on another goal. Another one. Do yourself. Um, 2 1 City. Daps. City win by any means. <laughs> Which <laughs> is a scoreline of. Would uh, you take a 1 0? I'll take a 1 0. I'd take a. I'd take a own goal. I'd take whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I'll go with a 3-1 City. 3-1 to City. Let us know in the comments what you think um, as well. We'll get some other team news up for you as well now. Uh, there's a, a few big games actually today in the Premier League. Mm. Everton take on Leeds at home, which is such a big game in terms of relegation dogfight. Um, so let's see how Everton line up enough. as well. I think um, it's clear to say that they need the win. So do Leeds. They're both real in trouble. But um, I'm just trying to... Someone else get up the lineups. Help me out here yeah, on the, sorry, on the old Yeah, I was apps. just looking at the goals. Yeah. I was just looking at the Do you know what? Why didn't, that, why didn't that one bounce like... back off of... Ramsdale's. But for Everton, <laughs> Pickford, chances. Coleman, Cody, Tarkovsky, Mikalenko, Iwobi, Decore, Gay, Onana, McNeil and Morpe. Ellis Sims dropped to the bench. They've also got Tom Davis, uh, Damari Gray, Michael Keane and Holgate on that bench as well. But Leeds go with Melier, Ailing, Cock, um, Woba, uh, Furpo, McKenney, Adams, the American midfield with Somerville, Harrison, Nonto and Bamford. Up front, no there. manager, no manager still. No Chelsea manager. lineup's an interesting one, you know. Yeah, read it um, out for us then. Eh? <laughs> right, I'm trying to make sure there's no, no names that I'm going to struggle with. <laughs> um, so first, the, I think we we knew this before is Reese James isn't starting. Asp, uh, Asper Laquetta's back in. Okay, Does anyone know why that is? I don't actually. Did he maybe get a knock? And <laughs> what another one? <laughs> another one. So the back back. So it's uh, Kepa in goal. Um, Asper Laquetta. Uh, Badashile, thank you. Uh, Koulibaly, Ben Chilwell, Kovacic and um, Enzo in the middle. And then Mason Mount, Jao Felix and that name I'm going to struggle Madweke. with. Madweke. Thank you, sir. And Fofana. And then Fofana up top. Do you know um, what? Enzo hasn't really had a solid, in terms of he, consistent he, partner he yet in midfield. He hasn't, I don't think he, he has. I don't think he has, has has he? I but think for me that would be the best too. Every game. Well. He's, he's looked good though since he's, since he's come in. There's been more questions over Is he on watch though? You said he was on uh, watch You know what? I was night. watching some clips the other day and someone had put together a reel of Mudrick dropped, by the way, today, which is the interesting yeah. thing to say. Yeah. To be fair, considering the last two starts. 
Mm. He's looked all right for me. Who, Mudrick? But, yeah. See, mm. Ch- I, I, I think I, he's I, been hit and miss for, for, for the expectation of what he was coming in. I think people were but, expecting him to straight away come in and set lights to blazing. He does look like there's something in him where when, you, when they can't score goals, he looks like he could have that creativeness in I him. I feel like that's more Jao Felix. I think Jao Felix is the one mm. you look at and he's the real difference maker. Mm. Can create, can score, can dribble, can drag the ball. Mudrik at the moment, you almost just feel like he's still settling in. Maybe he wrong. doesn't really even... He doesn't even look like really and truly wants to be at Chelsea. Now, from what I've seen, he doesn't look like he wants to be a part yeah, of the team. That, I it's like, ah, I guess he's I'm definitely here. got issues there. Well, so I think I would... he's just had that teething period. Chelsea just have to struggle it out. But I think dropping him in this after the last two results, you've got to do it, man. But I, I saw some clips, right? Of, and someone's, it's one of the Mount out lot of putting together. Mm-hmm. And it's Shao Felix and Mount and a couple of interactions where Felix is played a really good ball to um, Mount, but more importantly, made a really good run. And Mount's just failed to see him and just passed it sideways. And it was like, Ooh. Players will get frustrated if you're not on the same and, wavelength. And, and it was, the, the camera's cut into um, Felix's face and he's looking like, oh, I've just, I've just run, like, play me through. But I don't know. I think that's going to happen, though. They're, they're new together, so... Mm. Um, Brentford, should we have a look at sure. the uh, Brentford and Palace lineups? Um, three o'clock kickoff, of course. So it's Raya in goal for Brentford, Hickey, Pinnock, Me, Henry, De Silva, Norgard, Jensen, and Buemo, Ivan Tony, and Wiesa. And for Palace, they've gone uh, Gaeta, Klein, Anderson, Gehi, Mitchell, Elise, Decore, Laconga, Schlup, Ayu, and Mateta. I like that name. It is a good name. Yep. Score predictions for that one? I think that's a Brentford win. I'm going to go 3-1 Brentford there. Uh, they've gone quite attacking as well with yeah. the Wissett and Wimbo and... Um, mm. Mm. Yeah, I've got... Ugh. Brentford, Chelsea? Brentford, Palace. Brentford, oh. Palace. Chelsea, uh, Chelsea Southampton. Southampton. Oh, um, blah, blah, blah. Palace are poor at the moment, yes. Yeah, so I've got Brentford 2-1. Yeah, I mean, just looking back at Chelsea, I mean, this is one they've absolutely got to win. I know, obviously, we, we all know how their season's going so far, but at home to a managerless bottom of the table, Southampton, I mean, surely this is one where the tide's got to turn for them? Almost, I feel like all yeah. the signings they've made, this is kind of the perfect game to get your legs under and really show out, whether it's Enzo having a storm or whether it's a Mudrick cameo where there's less pressure on him maybe uh, I see Fofana starting up front for them mm-hmm. today as well good yeah. game to kind of really get your teeth into it show what you're about because I think that number nine position they've really struggled with ha- Havertz hasn't really made it his own uh, Obama Yang uh, has been a little bit underwhelming um, so yeah that there's positions there up for grabs yeah. at Chelsea and they need to hit form so this is the type of game to be fair it should be a cakewalk, but that was the thing midweek. Looking at Chelsea over the last couple of weeks, it's not been anything but that. See, midweek, any of the Potter out brigade, like Chelsea were creating chances, there was no one to finish any of them. Mm-hmm. So, this is where Fafana's got a chance because we know he, if he plays well, he'll start in the Champions League because mm-hmm. Aubameyang can't. Yeah, he's, he's not even in the squad. So, I think this is a good. I mean, I have to be careful what I say on Southampton because. Was Fafana one of the ones registered though? Because he's a new signing, wasn't he? And they could only register three. And I think they've had uh, registered. No, no, in the Champions League. Oh, sorry, no. So they've registered registered Felix, Mudrick, and Enzo because you can only register three new signings after January. Yeah, Yeah. so him, Badia Shield, Gusto. The um, whole bunch of them. Madweke was another one that missed as well. Yeah. I mean, it'd be nice to actually have that. Headache, yeah, I guess, yeah. wouldn't it? Mm. It'd be really nice to have that headache. Um, but it is a bit of an odd one with, with the Aubameyang thing. I mean, he's, mm. he's not even on the bench, so I assume I think they just want to alienate him. He's not on the bench, no. I think they just want to freeze him out at this yeah. point. It's like, just see out the contract, Such a you're in weird, London. Weird, weird, it was a weird, it was, it was a too cool sign in, but then like measures. three days before they sat too cool, which is just yeah. the most bizarre. I think he played 68 minutes under too cool. Something and like I don't that. think he wanted so to leave boy. Barca. I don't think Barca yeah. wanted to get rid of him. It, it was a move that should have never happened. Yeah. And yeah. it also burnt his bridge or whatever Arsenal. legacy he had at Arsenal, Arsenal as well. Especially yeah. with that BT Sport promo. Yeah. It was such a like L all round. Yeah. He's everybody. a badly advised player. Yeah. Yeah, he has been. A yeah. um, couple of super chats there, Ab. 
Uh, yep, yeah, hold on one minute. Uh, yeah, some super chats. Ibby B said that second half performance told me everything I need to know about just how much this young team wants it. Amazing. I'm really ready for this roller coaster. Uh, Jason said, big up to the panel, by the way. I enjoy watching you guys while having the mid block of games on. All knowledgeable about your teams and others. Big up to you too. Um, it was, uh, I can't, honestly, when we just watched that um, back, that, that Martinez one, that is some serious luck when that's gone in the yeah. fuck. You, oh, fuck your Check head. the accounts. That is some serious luck um should we run through the wolves team for, yeah let's uh, for do Lester it as well wolves bournemouth uh Saar in goal samedo dawson kilman bueno neves nunez sarabia Matinho, traore uh, and kuna and um, bournemouth it's neto smith stevens senesi zamura uh, uatara lerma billing tavernier traore and Solanke. And uh, Brighton also hosts today Fulham uh, in a kind of upper mid-table clash today. These two teams having a you very good season. You're on that one, Alex. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sanchez, <laughs> we'll, do, well, that's the whole point of the show. <laughs> Sanchez, Veltman, Webster, Dunn, Estupinian, Gross, Caicedo, March, McAllister, Matoma and Ewan Ferguson up front. They've been lucky in a way that they've managed to just keep all those players fit. Yeah. And, and they can pretty much put out the same 11 every week, can't they? For Fulham as well, having a very good season. Leno, Tete, who had a brilliant game last week. Diop, Reem, who um, Pep Guardiola once said if he was 10 years younger, he would have signed Tim Reem. <laughs> that off. Don't um, Pep, man. Well, maybe it was just an ego Pep boost. Loves the gas Anthony Robertson, one. left back. Reed, Palinha, who I'm so impressed mm. with this season. Harry Wilson, Pereira, again, who has created so many chances for Fulham this season as well, with William and Bobby de Coverid up front today, uh, meaning there is no Mitrovic. No, and this, th this is a really interesting game because they're both on the exact same points, 35 points, uh, Brighton in sixth uh, with a better goal difference and Fulham in seventh. So this is, this is really big because winner goes one point behind fifth place Tottenham. Um, I need a draw, really, don't I? I could uh, so, do, so, so do we, really. I mean, I'm only just starting to look up the table right now. Liverpool currently sitting yeah. ninth, of course, and they play Newcastle later on today. But there's all your three o'clock kickoffs. Um, just around seven minutes to go uh, until all of those kick off. And of course, we'll have all the action for you as it happens, as well as all the other grounds as well and all the other leagues. We don't just focus on the Premier League. There's German games as well. There's Spanish ones. And of course, the Championship, League One, League Two. I even keep an eye on the Vanarama National as well if I'm honest, <laughs> um, as they all go in. Big up to Yeovil, playing Notts County today. Massive game at Hewish Park. Um, should be a League 2 game, that, but they're both in the old Vanarama at the minute. Um, G Max says, shocking performance. Apparently, big chances. Arsenal 5, Villa nil. Not too sure about that, to mm. be honest. Um, the stone that the builder refused became the head cornerstone. Jorginho says, slick view <laughs> media. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do rate Arsenal oh, fans. They look for positive in everything, don't they? Yeah, they, <laughs> they do. do. They, they do. do. Um, hey, Chris Flood, I like Fuad's jacket, or is it a sweater? <laughs> it's a mixture of both, to be fair. It's like a, one of those. <laughs> over could be a, yeah, it's an overshirt slash jacket. Yeah. It's like a thicker I do, version. I, of I, I it, use so. it as both, to be fair. Like today, I'm wearing it as a jacket. Some days, kind of lumberjack shirt. vibes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Chopping you know down I mean? trees and whatnot. Hey, chopping some wood. Hopefully, we do that for Forest to work. Yeah, uh, super chat from it's J Boy David. So two calls next job is in India. R.I.P. Christie and Atsu. Uh, the Foxes cast is Brighton now versus Leicester City 2021. Who would win? Ooh, what was that? Brighton, Brighton versus probably. Leicester. Brighton. Yeah, Brighton now versus Leicester 2021. 2021. What was when they uh, they won the uh, FA Cup and Community Shield that season? I uh, don't know, really. I'd be more interested to see about Leicester. Of, I thought it was, they were yeah. going to say Leicester of uh, 15, 16. Yeah. Yep. Um, Which it would have been Leicester. That's why they won the league. Yeah. And they weren't battling out with the um, mid -table. Whose wood are you chopping, says Kev Akazi. You know, like a lumberjack. Oh, that wood. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. I've got a big <laughs> forest in my back garden. Ooh, I do a lot of you're going to say something else then. Listen, but, um, if you need your hedges trimmed, shout me. Who adds gardening service? Take care of everyone. No pun intended. Bush trimmer. Uh, manscaped. You could, I was just going to say. Yeah, I was going to say Manscaped. Why don't we do Manscaped? I vouch for Manscaped, man. <laughs> no, they, they, they are the Look, business. Next time we do it, bring that jacket. 
Absolutely. Uh, right, five minutes to go, people, until the three o'clock kickoffs. We've also got um, a preview in the bag for Newcastle versus Liverpool. But I guess just before the game, actually, we'll, we'll wait till the game starts to talk over the Man United um, bidding uh, issue, or I call it an issue because there's been two bids that have been made very recently, and it's up to United fans now all the club to decide who they're going to go with but let us know in the comments what you think about that before um, we touch on that point uh, AGC I know most of the people talk the game in an LFC perspective but from a Newcastle perspective it's a chance to be 12 points clear of Liverpool last home match before Wembley confidence boots are, and also Bobby and Atsu um, obviously Atsu did used to play for Newcastle um Real says, Abby's smile is amazing, man, but I know she's burning inside the Arsenal one. It's not even inside, really. I'm burning outside. outside. I'm burning uh, outside. A lot of United fans saying they want Qatar. It's the only answer. We Oof. will get into that one. We'll make it a big video for you, I promise. Um, just touching on that Arsenal win before these three o'clock games do kick off. I know you won't like to hear this, Abby, but mentally, the defeat to City, I was on here with you saying how this was such a mental test and they've mm. passed it. Does this now make them favourites again for the title? Can we, I mean, listen, City haven't played today, but they look like they wanted it today. Is that me? Well, anyone. Uh, anyone. Uh, I know uh, still, uh, no, so. no, no, I, I think that this title race is going to go to the very end. What my whole thing was, I needed Manchester City to get back in contention with it. And I've always said from the beginning, I always think if they can get their noses in front, not like level, but in front, I think that City will be fine. Mm -hmm. And I think City will go on to do it mm -hmm. because they've been there before and this is new territory for Arsenal, but I'm not writing Arsenal off. I never, I never wrote them off the other day. You know, there was me laughing at Cecil because obviously he wore that t-shirt at Christmas time and the game's not won in games. November. Yeah. Um, oh, and God. that was a little bit premature. <laughs> but look, at the end of the season, we'll see if Arsenal mm -hmm. have been the best team throughout the season, which they have so far consistently, um, despite their little blip they've had recently. I, I still think they've played the best football. And I can compliment them on that, even if it does hurt me, but that's my job. Um, but I still have hope that Manchester City will come through. I do. And until the time I don't and I fully give up life, <laughs> then I will keep back in Manchester City because I think that they are the only team uh, that can really do it. Yes, I think United are also up there if we're talking about Manchester City yeah, and are. how inconsistent you like you guys have been so far this season I think we need to also put United in that conversation but I do think that if we're looking at a, ch a challenger a proper challenger to take you all the way to the end then for me it is Manchester City and I do think that they could still do it they've got the experience in it yeah they've got the experience the know-how the manager and I think Pep will start to play mind games I think and, and we're starting to see it over the mm. last week or two as well in the press. I feel like the whole Premier League bringing down cases on him. City in previous title races, I feel like maybe in only one of them did the, were they really the underdog, um, where Liverpool were kind of ahead in January and then they kind of overtook The first them. one as well, to be fair. And the first yeah, one, first but one. I would say a lot of the times it's been City pep, to be go fair, on so. a streak and yeah, they yeah. dominate, whereas yeah. this time it's kind of like a different dynamic. And yeah. I feel like when you've been at the top for four or five years motivation can come, sometimes become a bit 100%. repetitive. So I feel like this might have given the second half of the season something for Pep to be like, do you know what, we can chase after them. But listen, you've got to give credit to Arsenal. 100%. Games like this where yeah. they're having to come back twice and in the last minute snatch it like that, that will give them confidence to say, do you know what, we're not here by fluke. The last couple of weeks were in actual fact a blip. We can get back yeah. to it type of thing. So we'll see. We're just seeing um, the City fair. and Forest players impeccably observing a minute silence there for Christian Atsu, mm. which I guess we'll see a lot of that this weekend. Such horrible news that. Um, Kevy Kev with the super chat. What crumble, he says. Uh, come on, you gunners. Um, big up to Arjan, who says he tried to look up my channel, but I found America's Got Talent. What the <laughs> hell, bro? <laughs> Again, I was, it's, it's, it's the cop TV. So you will never win that one as uh, well. No, never. <laughs> <laughs> Never. What AGT will be sulking after the Newcastle game, says Palmer. Hopefully not, my friend. Um, Abby got to worry about her team crumbling, says Starboy. Starboy, I've, I've not been worried about my team since we lost to Villa. <laughs> I have yeah. not been worried about them since the very 1st of January. Um, sports capital, it. bruv. Arteta knows his antics. The mm. F, it's easy work. Fair enough. 
Um, do you think Qatario and Manchester United will cheat as grotesquely as Man City have been doing well, in is the that last proven? 50 years from is that Ramadan? Um, of course, it's a, a, an ongoing case. Yep. Um, but Legend. we are kicked off in the three o'clock kickoffs on the Saturday football show. We're underway. This is the main part of the show, the best part of the show, where we comment and, and give you the goals as they go in live. Um, as they fly in. Shall we get on to this Manchester United yeah. debate now then? Okay. As we've seen, uh, a statement came out yesterday from Sheikh Jassim bin Hamed Al Thani, uh, who today confirmed his submission of a bid of 100% of ownership of Manchester United Football Club. The bid plans to return the club to its former glories, both on and off the pitch, and above all, will seek to place the fans at the heart of Manchester United Football Club once more. The bid will be completely debt-free via Sheikh Jassim's 9-2 Foundation, which will look to invest in the football teams, the training centre, the stadium, and wider infrastructure, the fan experience and the communities the club supports. The vision of the bid is for Manchester United to be renowned for footballing excellence and regarded as the greatest football club in the world. More details of the bid will be released when appropriate, if and when the bid process develops. Um, he is the son of the former Prime Minister of Qatar, Sheikh Jassim, is, is prepared to pay a world record price for a sports club to buy Manchester United. The current record is 3.75 billion uh, paid for the Denver Broncos. But then Sir Jim Ratcliffe, the Manchester-born billionaire, was reported as one of two people to have made another official bid on Friday evening alongside the Sheikh Jassim bid Hamad Al Thani that we just read out. So the questions that I'm asking you guys on the panel and you guys at home, who would be better for Manchester United? What does this mean for Manchester United and the Premier League? And also Daps has experience of this. Should United fans be excited with, with this money coming in if it goes through? And are rival fans worried? Um, these are all questions that you can continue asking in the chat. But... It's a, it's a mad this one, mad story this one, because it's been quite quiet the last two weeks. Mm. And then on Friday, yeah, yeah. two bids come in, Abby. Mm. Um, I think the statement is very, very good music to the, what the fans yeah, want yeah. to hear. They oh, want yeah. investment in the ground, the players. They want to go back to the top of the list when it comes to the, the biggest football clubs in the world. 100% bid as well, debt free. Mm. This statement... It's almost perfectly strong. written, isn't it? For the fans strong. to read and get excited about. I mean, Spooky. how could you not get excited about that? I mean, they've been asking for a change of, of ownership for God knows how long. Um, you know, the the Qatari one seems to be would be my option if yeah. I was to go with someone. You were talking that you would prefer as a City fan. As a City fan, I'd prefer the Ratcliffe one yeah. all day long. But I'd look, what the Abu Dhabi lot have done for us everything you just said is exactly it from the start they said no we are the citizens we're going to continue to be the community club of manchester the way anyone that knows that side of manchester it was run down right the amount of jobs they put into that area the whole infrastructure it's exactly what united is saying like for me as a city fan yeah it is worrying of course it is 100 percent because what they're saying will take man united like ten hogs a good manager give him that back in Give the, the fans and facilities, level. Yeah. take them to a new level. Give them Ratcliffe. Plug I honestly the holes think he'll just roof. come in and do what the Glazers are doing. I think that's the other thing as well. Where, when you came, when the owners came to City, you were essentially building the club up. We didn't United, own our stadium, bro. United, they had to buy the stadium. United the are already one of the top yeah. teams. Reputation-wise, financially, yeah. legacy-wise, history. Even like they can still attract top, top players. And I think the biggest thing you touched on there as well is now they have Ten Hag. Yeah. I feel like since Ferguson left, this is probably... I would say Jose as well, but this is probably the first manager I would say you can actually trust yeah. to build the vision of the club. And I really feel like if you give him now the owners that are coming in, the Qataris, whew, yeah. the vision they want to build in as well. If you've seen how his family members have done with PSG, what they've done over the past 10 years, you could say they haven't won the Champions League, but institutionally, where PSG were yeah, yeah, in comparison yeah. to now, I can imagine and OT getting renovated. I can imagine that training ground that Ronaldo was talking about getting completely new renovated. New hot tubs, new toasters. New hot tubs. Oh, new, chef. new chefs. New chef. will be chefing. Like, it, it, it'll, it'll be crazy. And, and you think with United already being what it is, still as attractive as it is, with all that money, you have a serious manager there. Players like Casemiro, Varane leading as well. It, it could be literally the return of United. Yeah. As uh, I think it. as well, if you look at with City... Before we got to the Pep era, we had the Pellegrini kind of, I think he was always a kind of stopgap. The gap, safe. Right? But then there was Mancini yeah. and there was even Hughes before that. 
With Ten Hag, I think you're skipping all of that and you're going straight to the kind of the Pep era where you've got a manager that has will have that but relationship. You can, with you the can board say that Pellegrini Mancini era was all this Jose, um, Oli, and all yeah. these yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. them trying to figure out how do we move on from Fergie. And I think yeah. even Arsenal, the post Unai and all that, they had to. Yeah, yeah, once yeah, yeah. you have a manager for that block period, and I'm sure you guys will go through it as well once your manager leave, it's hard to fill those boots. It's always yeah. going to be difficult. So when you go through them trials and tribulations they've landed at the right manager yeah, now it's just the ownership it's, it's, it's crazy huge it almost begs the question to say this sounds ideal for Manchester United but is it ideal for the future. owners however it begs the question shouldn't they have done this a bit sooner but who but, but this thing when we say done this sooner we're meaning the Glazers right in terms of Glazers because selling, the Glazers yeah. are has, making that this, this is the key this is not the fans making the decision because the fans would have done this a long course. time ago yeah. this it's, is yeah. on the Glazers and which ones the Glazers decide to sell to and will it be uh, is Ratcliffe's American but British passport is that I think he's, he's, he's British yeah but he's British whatever yeah. it is yeah or will they go with the guitar lot and that's down to the Glazers and but for that's, me, that's it's, where yeah, the club it's, it's in their hands, no one else's. You have to look at it from an aspect, though. Has United been more appealing than it has been in the last 10 years, let's be honest? Over the last 10 years, it? it's been almost like a slow, steady decline. I think Jose, that first year when he came in, he kind of gave him a couple of trophies, finished second the next year. But you could always see, mm, beyond the surface, it's still not all good there. Mm. I feel like now with Ten Hag coming in, Lisandro, Casemiro, Anthony, Sancho, Rashford in the form of his life, I can see enough pieces there where they can build Building. a core squad for the next two or three years. They have the right manager. It's just a case of giving them the right back end. And we always say, we're, we're Spurs fans. Oh, We've been crying. Think about what, this week, we were told that there's an American Iranian, Iranian yeah. that wants to buy us. He's going to be submitting a bid. And before that even could get anywhere, Tottenham came out and said, absolutely oh, but, not, but, unless but. it is sky high. And we've been down this route before. And they were offering a nice three billion pounds. Listen, take, take the it debt. and run. Take <laughs> and it Daniel and run. And Daniel still like, nope, we'll be the very last club in this league. Southampton and that's the thing. I think, I think the thing us. with every chairman is, or every owner of a club, they want to sell it when they can get their yeah. highest value for of it. Course. I think now you've kind of seen that little bit of an upswing in United. Yeah. You know what? We've milked it for about 20 years. The stocks are probably pretty high right now. Why don't we offload it while we can? Because they yeah. probably won't get this type of figure. And they're, and they're also open to selling. So at this point, you know, they can have a bidding war between the two of them and decide who they can sit they back can and watch. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice position to be in. in. I'd be really, really happy at the moment if I was a United fan. Uh, the only thing I'm sure United fans will be upset about is the fact that the Glazers will be walking away with this cash sure. rich pockets for having drained oh, the club oh. for the last 20 years because I think there was even a, a stat sheet that came out over the owners of how much they've put into every club Spurs it was zero yes um, but really United right. it was actually a net negative so it's like yeah. they're taking money out of the yeah, club yeah, and it's yeah. like Pen for them sales. now to have bought the club for I think it was 500 or 700 mm. million or whatever it was and now to have made what Five fold. For the good of the club, they just crazy, have to crazy for me. And and, take and what they've done to the institution of United, in my yeah. opinion, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, but do you know what? Even if even if they've done that, they'll be very happy to see the back of yeah. them. And yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah true. 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 Again. True. True. For sure. I Are rival fans worried place? then? I mean, you should a little be. bit. You should be. Yeah, it should be. Like a Man bit. City should be worried. Liverpool, Liverpool should be think Liverpool worried. We've really got to hurry their search yeah. up for a new owner as well. I think Arsenal as well really need to. They, it kind of puts a bit more on Arsenal this season that cash in while you can. Win. You need yeah. to get that. You know, get that win. Get those Champions Leagues. You guys it, as well. It puts you pressure. Need those Champions League we're, Yeah, places. but we're so, we're so we're, we're so far behind. Don't even so include us. We're so far behind yeah. in everything. You know, we're, we're not even have involved. A new in manager it. again. We're going to have to go through a whole we, new thing. Yeah. Again. So we are so far behind this conversation about this affecting us. The only thing it affects us in is that Harry Kane will probably it's, go. Yeah. yeah. Um, more, it's all the other clubs. You look at it. Liverpool are going through a transition. They need to transition to a point where they're able to get back in with a competing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and Chelsea and Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea spending. As well. But obviously the. The, che the benefit that Chelsea have over, I say, Liverpool is that the fact that they can literally just, they're just buying what they but want. But the problem is, is now want. it's like you've spent that money. There has to there be has some to, return yeah, on it. Now the fans keep. are going to see United getting back active. Pep, if he can reactivate, if Arsenal can keep growing, that's already three teams there. Yeah. And then if Liverpool want to come back, Newcastle. Oh, let's not even sleep on Newcastle, actually. Yeah, just we talk about money and the richest clubs. The richest of them all were talking there. Yeah, so yeah, that's the key. It's Listen, very, if they get Champions League football. Who stops them from yeah. getting who they want? It's going to be very interesting to see what this kind of like new look 
league is going to be like when it's you know lots of super mega mega wealthy owners, <laughs> and then kind of the rest of the this pack. is this is my final straw for where i think levy will almost be forced to sell the club in the sense of he's literally going to look at the playing field and be like i can't compete with these these are countries mm. and because he won't want to spend he, regions that own clubs mm. i am just a businessman but at this, at the same time he's, he's he's not but he doesn't care about the club we know that what he cares about is power and for him it's having, having the power and yeah. having a seat at the big boy table when you're not a big boy. But, but he's, 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 he's just Joe Lewis's puppet. You're ball in the yeah. playground. You've got your arm on exactly. the ball. You're telling people they can't it's play It's like being you. part of the big it. group of bullies, but you're the smallest one yeah, in the pack. Yeah, yeah, and no it. one really cares about you. But, but the thing is that what I would say is the, the more he keeps saying no, so City have got their owners, right? Uh, it looks like United are going to get theirs. Newcastle have got theirs. To be fair, Arsenal's owners are very wealthy anyway, right? It was just a case of opening up the purse strings, if, yeah. If... If Tottenham and Levy keep saying no, right, then eventually, say Liverpool eventually get another mega rich owner, the next mega rich owner that wants a piece of the Premier League pie, if he goes to Tottenham and Tottenham say no, they're going to go, no problem. Well, these clubs yeah, have all we'll gone. Go West Ham, what are yeah, you saying? Absolutely. What are you saying? Well, this, and then all of a sudden Tottenham are just going to fall which even Which is more. exactly what's happened. And it's exactly, it's exactly what's happening. Like I've said before many times um, on this channel about then, when Tottenham in 2019 at the Champions League, you know, the owners that bought mm. Newcastle wanted to buy us and did a very nice, very substantial but bid. Be, and they said no. And, you know, it's going to look like history will probably repeat itself with, with, with this new situation. You have to be careful with the owner you do select, though, because yeah. Everton did have that takeover with a rich look where it got them do you well, see what I'm saying like, know, I, would, you take, first, would you not take a chance I, I, I would take my chances <laughs> take but my then chance. at the same time it's like you don't want to put yourself in an even worse situation well, I don't but at the same time I think to, to myself, get rid of Levy I'll do anything yeah, at this point honestly uh, uh, at this point I'll take we're anything. going nowhere fast and it's just literally being like a hamster you go round and round and round that yeah. wheel and it's it's the same cycle it every is. 18 months to two years so it's like I would take my chance with a new owner, with new management. I would assume they're going to put some money in because they, they have to. Yeah. They have the, to, especially if they're buying the club for that type of money as well. They're going to want to get a return. Yeah, I think that's the difference now with the amount of money. Because if if you look at City, right, before we got taken out, taken over by the Abu Dhabi lot, we got took over by Sinatra, the Thai. Yeah, I remember right? that Elano and, and Joe face. Hmm. All of it was based on oh yeah, I'll give you my money when it's released by Thailand because he was going through an investigation over there, right? He ran up about 120 million debt plus big wages with very average players and eventually he didn't buy the stadium, did none of that. We, and we were, he had to we sell off. Close. He had to yeah. right? because eventually Thai said, you ain't getting your money back. Then all of a sudden he had to sell and the first thing that Abu Dhabi lot did was buy the stadium, pay off all the debt because... In, in the religion you have to you mm. can't have debt but it can go the other way and this is the thing with, with Man United that like because I know there's certain elements of Man United's fan base that want Ratcliffe right and it's like no you don't you don't because I honestly think you're just going to be going to another Glazer situation yeah. you need to be going with the other situation mm. otherwise it could end it could end up worse uh, I'm just going to read a few chats um, 2B said Tottenham fans forget how much they spent on their stadium or it didn't come out of the pocket of Enoch, Bro, it is. <laughs> literally, it stunted the whole growth of the club. Like at the yeah, point when we were closer to competing for the title uh, and getting uh, Champions League, Arsenal, and, 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 well, and, and that's it did. But that was Arsenal post the stadium. For us, yeah. it was during the build. During the build up, that, like, and, yeah. and to be yeah. honest with you, yeah. I mean, if you look yeah. at the owners, even before the stadium, they still didn't put any money in. To this day, we're 24 years in, and they still haven't mm -hmm. put any of their money in. And the thing is, just people will see random signers like Endon Bele and La Celso and think, oh, but you spent 60 million and yeah. 50 million there, and it's like, yeah, after spending 18 months of nothing. Of nothing. Yeah. And then the season before that, we spent minimal. It's um, alternate Cavs in the comments saying, since the takeover, City have never lost a title race. When will people ever learn? Every time they are in one, they've always won it. And yes, they were not in a title race in 2013 yeah, and we 2017. Yeah, we uh, Tina says, we United supporters have morals. Yes, we will win titles, but we will do it the right way. We will not just buy the books. Um, oh. Oh. There you go. Uh, another Completely super chat here. What did you grow up on? Phenom, yeah. who says <laughs> they brought it for 250. The rest was alone when talking about the Glazers. So, United fans, just to finish this one off for Is you. Is that what it was? 250. It was, apparently. And now they're making, what, 3 billion? 3.75, yeah. Well, it would be the same, Lord. wouldn't it? It would be the same for FSG. They yeah. bought it for 310, and I think they'd sell it for about four, three, okay. three and a half, four. Ideally, um, but they put it on a loan. Basically, they put it on a loan. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Take your Absolutely money. And so, but the thing is, yeah, is with these.
these clubs, they're leveraging success. They're leveraging history. They're leveraging, like, even like City, it was the potential of, look, with us, it, it's almost like we just got the stadium and that's all he's leveraging the club on. It's like, hey, we're worth three billion because I'm giving you a shiny yeah, brand new yeah. It's like, come on. And that's the biggest annoyance with Spurs fans. We always felt like he prioritised building that stadium and having and it as like this show entertainment that's piece. Your, that's your that's, trophy. That's your trophy type of thing. This is what's going to keep the club relevant. Say, do you know it's what? Like your rivalry, your rivalry with that. Arsenal is also something that should sell you. What do you mean? Arsenal are a big club, right? I had better. this conversation yesterday yeah, uh, that an Arsenal Tottenham total race would be very interesting because oh the bitterness would. is so mad. Mate. Another interesting one is do you know, in our lifetime, I don't think I've ever seen a Liverpool Man United Mate, total race, which is the mad. potential Maybe for this 08, club. 09, it's, was. it's in London, yeah, it's got yeah. a brand new stadium, it's best training like, facility. Best training facility. It, that the potential is yeah. there. Yeah. There, there is so it's much there. potential for Tottenham to be a better version of itself but this, and this is where you need to take advantage because again i'll look at everton and say you know right now liverpool want to be want to be brought out but if everton is a lot lot cheaper then people look, look we ended up getting taken out yeah right so if if man city can be taken out then anyone could be seen especially like if you're tottenham if you're everton west ham west ham west ham 100 percent. i think west ham are actually quite a profitable club now so Potentially. SK in the comments says no comparison. United make their own money, and the new owners are for taking away the debt and really keeping United yeah. un unhindered. The club will do the rest. Mm. Um, right. So just the last question before we move on and get back into updates on the three o'clock kickoffs. Manchester United fans in the chat, in the comments, do you want Sir Jim Ratcliffe or Sheikh Jassim from Qatar? What does it mean for the Premier League? What does it mean for United? Who do you prefer? Let us know in the comments. We actually ran right a now. poll, um, but obviously, guys, send in your, your chats as well on it. Um, we said, who would be a better fit for Manchester United? 59% uh, uh, Sheikh Jassim and 40% Sir Jim Ratcliffe. That's um, over 900 votes. That's on that. mad. There you go. With the let us know in the chat what you want. Mm. Uh, right, let's get back to the three o'clock kickoffs. Um, still no goals in the Premier League. There's been some big goals in the other leagues, though, I think. Uh, Neil Warnock's um, Huddersfield, he's gone back there for the first time in 20 odd years. They're yeah, trailing sort of. Birmingham Ooh. in the first game for him in the uh, in the championship. Also, Celtic are 2 up against Aberdeen. Two very early goals for them, and it's goalless in all of the Premier League games so far as well uh, did see Yeovil went 1-0 down at home to County so that's not good for the old Glovers but um, how have City started in this one Dap? Yeah, I think we started alright we, we're creating chances um, we're moving the ball at a better pace than we have been prior to the previous two games so um, yeah, it's not going to be a hard game I mean sorry it's not going to be an easy game Forest, Forest away they haven't lost at home in the league for five months so but we've just got to keep the ball moving at the right pace and uh, keep probing yeah, it looks like Grealish is causing some some issues already. He's wearing his Puma boots today. I think they're going to be announcing that big Puma boot deal that you were mentioning the other day soon. Or is he Puma now? Yeah. Well, he's been Nike the whole City time, Puma, but he's Puma today. It's like so. Pep's Puma, and I think the aim with Puma is to try and get as many of the City lot into Puma. It's but weird, though, because oh. Adidas have signed Klopp as an athlete, but we're Nike. So he'll wear Nike head to toe and then on the shoes. I know that that's well. mad that yeah. that's been allowed yeah. to happen, you know. It's funny, isn't yeah. it? Um, Real Betis 1, Real Valladolid 0. Juanmi with the goal, former Stoke player. Who, me? Juanmi, <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, half time oh, between Bayern Munich and Borussia Munch and Gladbach. It's Gladbach, it's 1 0. Do you know what? We saw City recycled the ball a lot better again. Gladbach. Gladbach. 1 0 there. Um, and we'll keep you updated with all the goals. We're really probing. City are really, really... Um, City pressuring here. Yeah, we're, we're recycling the ball a lot better, which has been one of our biggest issues this season. Mm. Still no goals yet. 20 minutes in. At what minute do you kind of start getting a little bit nervous about City not scoring a goal so far? I always far? find City's... My worst period for City is always between about the 45th and the 60th to concede. Right. Um, look, you want to go in at half time with the lead, don't you? It's, it's pretty much been all city. Yeah, it has so yeah, far. Yeah. But but then this is this is the only thing. When it is all city and we don't score, that's where other teams can hit us on the counter. Yeah. What's been the biggest change in Grealish over the past couple of weeks? It seems like he's been one of your best players. Um, he seem, Do you know what? He just seems to care. There's there's players at the club, and I do think this is relevant. That if you look at it. 
Harland Grealish, who maybe Harland hasn't won a league with us yet. Grealish last season was a bit part player. They're players that I still think are hungry for the league. Whereas with Bernardo Silva, with some of the others, I know Bernardo Silva wants the Champions League so badly. So um, I don't know. I think I think the fact that Pep's had so much faith in Grealish mm-hmm. as well. Um, it all of a sudden seems like Grealish is. I'm intrigued to see today because he scored the other day and I've always said that Ooh. if he adds goals to what he's already doing for the team, then, mm-hmm. then all of a sudden he'll be living up to his price tag. Yeah. yeah. So he got the goal the other day. Um, so now it's kind of to see if he can build from that. Oh. So far. Brennan Johnson, yeah. headache. I'm giving that. Wow. Levelling up. <laughs> yeah, that, looks, that <laughs> looks a lot like levelling up to me. A couple of super chats. Yeah, let's have a look. Um, there is a super chat. Uh, it's from LJ Brown who says, uh, I think that meant to be in case. It says, in case you Spurs fans, how are you getting piped by oh, I Foxes? Think it's in, in oh, your in face. your face, yeah, you, you Spurs, Spurs fans. fans. Yeah. How are you getting piped by Foxes but got chess for Arsenal? Don't worry about your team and the fact that you don't own your stadium. Not worried you. Has no? it rattled you that comment? No, not really. Okay, sure. No. <laughs> I think that was his aim to do that. Unrattled by you. Um, big Thanks up for the two. <laughs> I'm not going to read that name out and get baited two weeks in a row. <laughs> That's but all that. like Phil. I'll do it. Go on. Phil McCracken. There, there you go. <laughs> Ratcliffe will be the Glazers 2.0. No problem. Look at what he's done to me. Do you know why? Yeah. Because I've hosted this week. many times and not even realised it. Like, oh, really? oh, what have, have you had it a few times? <laughs> I'm sure I've read that name out before and I have not not even realised it till now. I probably had it. Do you know what? That was a foul. That was a huge man. That was crazy, man. That one was so funny. I I just read it out so clearly as well. Um, There you go. A dub is a dub. Come on, you got us. It's cello. It's nice to see Foden back in the team, to be fair. John Joe Shelby starting for Forest today as well. Interesting to see him back in red. It's been a while. Um, let's talk about Lee Mason, um, the referee who was at fault really for the lack of offside lines drawn um, in Arsenal's game uh, last week. Um, he has left the PGMOL by mutual consent. Uh, VAR referee Lee Mason has left the official's body PGMOL and will no longer work on the Premier League games following his oh, high profile just had a great touch in there. Arsenal's draw with Brentford. Mason had worked as a Premier League referee for 15 years and oversaw just under 300 top flight matches. Um, However, the 51-year-old, while working solely as a VAR operative this season, has twice been dropped for working on a round of Premier League fixtures after high-profile errors. Is this a good sign now Howard Webb is in charge uh, that officiating may improve in the Premier League? That was the question written down. Not that I agree with it. Um, He was very favourable towards Manchester United back in the day, Howard Mm -hmm. Webb. But what did you make of this? Because this is pretty big news. I mean... Arsenal fans, including Robbie, have said they wanted to roll down to Stockley Park and, and have a word. You, you missed it Monday. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I saw that's the clip. He was going me. in. Um, but then what do you make of this news? Because it's almost like the referees here have admitted, or the PGMOL, surely, have said, no, that isn't good enough. Well, they did You're admit gone. that it was wrong. They, 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 they admitted but Monday to sack him it was wrong. Or, or mutual consent. That's, that's massive news, no, I listen, think. Listen, I've said, I don't know why, if you're a retired referee, retire. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you in the backstage working on? I don't exactly. I don't Agendas care about agenda. filling Lee Mason's pockets, bro. Once you've retired from the pitch, go to your farm and go pick out some aubergines, whatever it is you lot do. <laughs> don't be <laughs> in you the VAR room. Do, do is that, is that we need do, fresh eyes. We need fresh aubergines. referees, if you like. Whoever the up and coming referees are, they need to do better in schooling and educating them and utilize them. Yeah, because too often I feel like yeah. Spot we on. blame VAR I don't think we've and ever say seen something like this though, Fu. This what? is, you've made a mistake, gone, get out. Good. This is massive. Good. And I know it's Arsenal who he's cost. I'm happy about that, but that I'm fair? sorry. When you make high profile errors oh of that magnitude where that can make a difference in the title. No. And, and if they say now, for example, Arsenal <sighs> lose a title. Is that too if harsh, Arsenal bro? lose a Look. title on two points and that game could have given them those two points. Really but bro, last season, hand of... Hand of Rod at Everton. We should have won the league Listen. if that penalty goes in. But, but then there was given. the one, I think, the week later where a Liverpool player trod on someone. For me, I always think when, 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 when a referee makes it... Oh, no, that don't, it was against Liverpool. So when a referee makes a clear and obvious mistake, they should always be penalised. Whether it's you get relegated job. for six weeks or whether it's 
he is a retired ref. You should Ooh, not even be in the VAR room. The fact that you're there that now and cool, making so. mistakes on top of it shows me why you retired. So double, double retired. Uh, I just, I, I, I just want to say one double thing retire. about this, this Lee Mason <laughs> well, thing. And I, I'm, I'm not condoning it because I think the standard of refereeing is super poor. And I also think VAR is, could be implemented far better than it is. But he's not the only person that was in that room for that Arsenal game. He wasn't the only one That's that was there I'm to saying. check is the lines. Harsh, yeah, no, I, I think it's harsh in general because I think that there should be a more accountable. Why, why is it just him? Is you know it why? He was the head of it that yes, day? Yes, yes. But my thing is, and this is not to say that you throw other people under the bus, but you know at Stockley Park, there is a team of, how many refs? Is it like four, four five, six? Four video refs four and vi one video ref. one, I think. So he's obviously checked one phase of play rather than the original phase of play my thing is and not and not down the line so but why has not one of the other three or four members of that var yeah. team said lee hun you haven't checked this part before you've like there, there should have been someone that's also i get it i get it but just like it's in like any if, job if, if we did it there's if, employees if did it, and then the box stops it, no? with the manager it always stops with the manager with, but, but he's and not he's the, manager. the he's the he was in charge in that, that day room. the supervisor if you like and he's but, a supervisor the buck stops with. You're meant to be the final check. Before you contact the referee and say, that is a goal, you're meant to be the final one that checks those four referees under you and says, the work they've done is good. I've double checked it and I can clear that's the correct decision. Yeah. If you now say, I've double checked it and that's clear and it's the wrong decision, you have to be held accountable because you, you're agree. the one that's essentially given the green light. It's not just though? one person, VAR is a team. Which, it is a team, but there has to be one voice because if it's four voices, then it's like, oh, too no, many which cooks. One? Yeah, too but, many cooks. Do you know what? You have to have one leading voice. And if that's where the buck stops, I'm happy. And if yeah. he's the one that pays the price, I'm happy with that as well. I, I but, agree. But, but the I other thing is, whatever, whatever makes it and better. And it might sound fine. harsh, one and done, but for me, my thing is, is. You, uh, the reason why I'm being harsh on Lee Mason is because you're a retired ref, bro. Yeah. I don't have yeah, the patience yeah. Yeah. to see yeah. but a retired ref now messing so the game up even more. if he was a current ref, you would have said, don't sack him. I would have said, yeah, discipline him maybe. Okay. I don't know, take him out of our room for well, four weeks. Why have you come back from retirement? You retired for a reason because you probably thought it was time to retire. He saw his why uh, you come uh, back? pension for, I better get back yeah. in the bar room. Yeah. But, but the <laughs> other thing I'd say on VAR with me farm to pay for. Is, is processes, <laughs> right? So... There should be processes in place, right, that lines, forgetting to draw lines on just doesn't happen. There should yeah. be a process in place. Fact. That's on VAR. There should be a process in place. Now, I don't know exactly, but there's been a couple of times, I won't say which clubs, where apparently there weren't the right cameras there. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> Let me finish, Alex. Let me finish. This is defending. <laughs> say it. No, name, no, no. Names. I'm talking so cool. about me. I'm no, saying one it. Of them, but, but I'm defending Liverpool name. here. So one of them is Liverpool. The other one is, I really? think, there was another ground. There was that but, Emirates as well. Right. The Liverpool and this game is the Saka thing. Offside, but this is not on Liverpool. Went, yeah. And this is not on Fair the Emirates. Enough. I agree. This is on the FA. If you're bringing in VAR, what, are you not going to every single ground and checking? Is there not a guy with a clipboard going tick? Exactly. And that is on them. And this is why Lee Mason's probably holding it because he's the scapegoat for the yeah. fact that the FA ha don't yeah. have the right I, processes I in place. totally agree with you and what I also find very try, odd actually, yeah. is that in cup games where you have a stadium that has True. VAR you can use it but you can't I, I think that's so that's wrong mental, yeah. I think that if that's yeah. the case you should if it's if not every team has it you, can't you shouldn't it. be yeah. using it no. how is that fair it's Facts. not fair it's absolutely yeah. not fair, it's not and, fair it's and it's biased and yeah. at what point do VAR spread to Championship League 1 League 2 because if there, there is to be an advancement and a positive mind frame with VAR, surely they should be rolling and, out. And maybe the Premier League, League and, and maybe that's thing, where the FA needs to look at money. The FA should, should, should hold that cost, no? Should, yeah. should. Look, that's the thing. The, I think if you're going to roll it out, you should help to roll it out. Or the league, association or, of that league should pay for I, it. I do genuinely or, or the think Premier League, the Premier League or, is Alex, the Premier League help. The FA help and the Premier League help. There's a fund that goes into it to get it everywhere. Thank you. A um, couple of comments Guitar here. Can help Guitar out plus that. Howard Webb equals United Unstoppable. Yeah, says Paul. I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. Uh, sure, AFTV getting season. involved. The real AFTV saying, sorry means nothing. And we have had three points stolen from us because of incompetence. Oh, there we go. Excuses are coming I'll take everything They're back. They're loud man. today. Free Lee Mason, man. Free Lee Mason. <laughs> Take everything back. Um, someone said Free Lee Mason. I mean, Big Steve. Oh, um, that sounds like Free Mason. There is a super free chat. There's yeah. a super chat from free Tina. Song that. Uh, he said, "Comparing these to Manchester United are so wrong, Miga. This is not 
uh, where you as an owner can earn money unless you own PSG. Uh, SK said, working with Qatari people, you can view as an opportunity to posit positively yeah. influence instead of having the attitude of don't talk oh. to anyone you disagree with. Uh, Big Ash said, it's unprecedented. Arteta said that this was something Too more much. than a human error, implying foul play. Maybe they are investigated and decided to sack him. Was he involved with City at all? I know this. I don't. I don't. I don't know what I can and can't say. So I can't really say anything. <laughs> <laughs> no. Someone said when I said something off air earlier on. Someone said, "Is that 100 percent proven?" And apparently, if it's not 100 percent yeah. proven, I can't, yeah, say, can't it, say it. Although it. I'm hearing cheats a lot. Can't but say anyway, it. we move. Uh, all the games, we still yet to have a goal. It's nil nil. We're still yet to have a goal. 30 minutes, but it gives us more time to debate questions like this. If yes. you were to make one change with VAR, what would it be? Scoop on. I think refs being mic'd up. I is agree. That oh, yeah. That, but that should just be standard, I Yeah, think. I think so. The I way think it works in rugby, I think yeah. it would just it be top to it. respect. And, and the excuse can't be, oh, but the football players will be swearing all the time, so it won't be good for the kids. NFL then football players NFL need to do it. And do you know what? You look at so games well. like NFL and, again, and games like rugby where they're yeah. super physical, right? Yeah. And they actually have respect. I, I see far more sir. respect for the referees in those two sports than I do in this one. Yeah. And also from the fans. And but also they, the, they, they explain it. You but know? also the respect from the referees back. That the yeah. referees, I've seen rugby players go over angry and the ref go, I understand why you're frustrated. Firstly, there's a difference. Not angry, because I've had that where someone goes, oh, you seem angry, I'm frustrated. There's a big difference. Yeah. And the ref say, you seem frustrated. Listen to what I'm going to tell you, my reasoning. And then if you're still frustrated, we can have a conversation there. We'll then meet you in the car park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then, then they'll explain it and the player will go, all right, fair enough. And he's just calmed down the whole situation. It's, it's, it's just, a mu it'll be much better in terms of communicating for fans and yeah. communicating with players. Um, and I also think for, for me, what the standard of officiating has always been pretty poor, in my opinion, in the Premier League. It has yeah. been, um, and I think that VAR was brought in to try and assist that and help that. And mm. I do believe that VAR has the capability to do that yeah. if implemented correctly. But my problem is that VAR, in a way, has allowed the officiating to actually get worse because yeah. now referees yep. are reliant yep. on VAR. If, if, if there's a penalty call and the ref don't give it, it's okay because he knows that VAR is going to say, you need to go back and check that. And my and thing is, is if you it. mic them up, you can hear the referee reasoning with VAR. Absolutely. You can hear the dialogue. You can hear the referee's input into that decision. Mm. And the other thing as well is I feel like if players know the ref's mic'd up, they're less likely yeah, to be disrespectful. Yeah. They're less likely Hell to say, yeah. oh yeah. They'll They're be reminded not... by the manager and the captains, remember the ref's, the ref's mic'd up, so don't 100%. call him this, so now when you, But the thing Sorry. is, now when you abuse a ref, we also heard it and see the video camera, there's no hiding mm. it. Do you know the thing, other so... thing that needs to be mic'd up? The conversations that the referee's here in, in his ear. From mm. VAR? Yes, from the VAR room. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I mean. When, when, when I'm saying mic'd up, yeah. so the conversation when he says, up, yeah. okay, what have you seen? Da, da, da. Oh, I've seen yeah. cha, cha, cha. I've right, seen I'll give this. the penalty. <laughs> Watch this space. I in think that one. it's uh, outside. I think that would be very, very, very Some good. Robot. Or should we do AI? <laughs> oh, everything's doing AI now. Mm -hmm. isn't it? Sideline camera that monitors the offside, the last player, takes out the man. What a camera that's just going a up camera and down. That just goes up and down. The hoardings. You get a attached. beautiful angle. When you said of takes the game out the well. man, what are we talking like? Take out the lineals. What do we need well, lineals? Oh right, do. okay. Be, what do we need so lineals? Take out the last man. Be, There's a lot of kids that grow up wanting up to anyway, be lineals, so. man. Well, they literally don't even <laughs> use their flags anymore. We use offsides VAR for ninety percent. Just be Peter Crouch. Let's just get cameras there that gives us a a perfect one v one angle for wing wingers versus fullbacks as well. Is that not a great angle? I think you need a lineal. The lineal camera. Just for the VAR on the last man. You know what linesmen are these days? Chance! They're, they're oh. like, do you remember when you had those Rodri with the referees header. with poles behind the goal? Yeah. Next yeah. to the goal. They're like those, pretty much. They're just oh, there yeah, for, they were for thing, sure. They were do you remember that? They were the they were the fifth thing. officials. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What happened to them? They were to make sure... VAR came along and they were like, sod them off. The one thing I would change about VAR is at the minute it's just red cards and penalties and offsides, yeah? I would change it so it covers everything. Anything that you think that should be checked. Why shouldn't it? The, yeah, the yeah, technology, that, well, that the time, was a good chance. The technology so. and time is there. Yeah. So if there is a, an off the ball thing that isn't maybe a red card, but it's definitely a yellow, that should not be not seen. That mm. has to be VAR. Everything I, should I be I do like VAR. that. 
aspect of getting away with it though no you listen exactly. it's, it's, it's almost like a little up, loophole yeah. you've got yeah, you know like, hey I can get away with that but, <laughs> but even that will be caught the it coo- will the be coo- caught yeah. Yeah. so if it has been caught on a camera <laughs> because there's never anything you can get away with on a, on a football <laughs> pitch that was one of my favourite ever football pitches. that was yeah like Romero Cucurella I'm thinking last that would have been red card penalty I don't know why that, that was though and I'm like I don't get point. why it that wasn't to, here's my point it was bar. picked up we all saw it yeah. so why couldn't that go to VAR I don't know see if Lee Mason was doing it that day cause... well he's probably jealous because he's got no hair I mean, that's <laughs> awesome. I never knew how that wasn't a red card. The sausage. But, crazy, um, crazy. but this debate again, we could sit here and, and talk about the, the changes that we want to see introduced in the Premier League. Are they going to happen? Probably not. Will this debate happen again next week and the week after? It probably will. I think, I think the one with, um, with referees being mic'd up and referees and being able to hear what referees are being told in their ear, I think that's going to come to light soon. I think it will. Okay, well, we should do. Let us know in the comments what you think and let us know if you feel sorry for Lee Mason losing his job this week. Phil, I definitely He's retired does not. again. He's back picking turnips. So. Cousin of Ryan Mason. Aubergine. Aubergine, No, it's sorry. his aubergine farm. Aubergine. Yeah, sorry, not he's got to keep so up. Other veggies available as well. Yeah, of course. Don't forget. Um, right, still... We have no goals, Abby. No goals. This is the first show we've done <laughs> together as well. I know, we've got no show. goals. I know, what have we got to, to show together. for it? Uh, no goals, um, a Lee Mason discussion. And we've and been invaded by AFTV. Yeah, it's been a good day so far. So I've, really had, I've had better you. Saturdays. Absolutely. We are <laughs> going to talk about uh, your team as well later on. We are going to have a topic, we'll potch about, back to Spurs. Team? Oh, my favourite uh, No, topic. not your team. Um, <laughs> so we will be special. speaking about Tottenham in the second half, if you want to get involved with that. Also, we've got a Spurs versus West Ham preview. And of course, Newcastle versus Liverpool at 5.30 today. But before that, we've still got 10 minutes left of the first half. And again, still no goals. There How are goal City looking? There's, there's we're looking goal. good. We're, we're <laughs> well, moving the ball yeah. well. We're probing, probing, probing. Just it's maybe, I don't know if it's that final board or Forrester just defending resiliently. But this is where it starts getting frustrating that if we don't take the chance, then the counter... But um, no, I, I'm happy with the way we're playing. Very happy with how we're playing. The recycling, the ball's really good as well. Uh, Everton that. apparently knocking on the Leeds door like a pair of heavy sent by the tax man, um, according to the BBC. Um, nice. nice description, that. Quite a scouse yeah. description. as well. The heavies, dear, you know, knocking on the door there, bro. Um, yellow card for Wacky Manderson um, for clattering Johan Wissett in the air. Things have been simmering for a while. Uh, if you are watching the Greater London Derby between Brentford and Crystal Palace, that's what I've, that's what I've called it. Greater London, Greater Makes London sense. Derby. What is it? Croydon and Hounslow. Brentford, yeah, Hounslow. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bus stop in Hounslow. Yeah. Uh, let's read through some chats. Uh, chat. uh, Ry Rilo said VAR has affected the spontaneity of celebrations. Yeah, hundred percent. Absolutely. Nathan Figueroa says VAR has sucked the life out of football. Um, yeah, which I totally agree as well. It, it has. You can't really celebrate anything properly in the fear that it's going to get overturned. Uh, Carlos Cruz says, Leicester are four matches unbeaten and on form. Leicester v United will be a good match. Um, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. Nathan says, what's happened to all the goals, folks? Exactly. We're asking the same question. Usually yep. I mean, uh, Kevy Kev goals. said, is Harlan playing? He is playing. How's Harlan look today? I think Harlan has been involved. Look, this is the thing, the narrative with Haaland is literally, if he doesn't score, then people are saying, oh, he's not playing. But I think everyone saw on, um, and I would imagine that whoever said that isn't watching this game because he might not have a way to. Um, Haaland's involved. So, yeah. He's involved. Um, and there's a question for you, Alex, saying, Saski says you're from London, but I can tell by your accent. Why do you support Liverpool? Where do I live, Abby? He lives in Liverpool. Thank you. But he was. Nah. He was. shouldn't even need he, he to answer go to them questions. In with you? With me, yes. Yeah. So, really? Yeah, we went to primary school together. Yeah. Okay. Known each other for like 25 years, isn't it? Mate, do you, come on, G. Full circle. I know what secondary school you went to as well. Careful. <laughs> no, no, no. What secondary school? I know someone you went to secondary school with. That's what I'm saying. Who, James oh. Toon? <laughs> no, no, no. No, we no, no. no. Went to with him. We no, no, no. no. Keep that one. Yeah, we'll he was talk after the show. Ago. This is quite ambitious. scary, actually. You just said that, you know. James kept me company the whole of the World Cup. I miss him. No, James is a little G, man. I like him. Just getting back. I want to know who you two are talking about now. Oh, he came up to me in the car park earlier as well. And said, oh. What did you say earlier? He said one of your mates said, is that? Yeah, I didn't know that you used to be involved in Grime Daily. Yeah, man. Yeah. Came through the music. I discovered him, man. 
Mm. Yeah. Do a kickabout with rappers. He's about. So who's this fella? Yeah, he's teaching nice chunks tech. how to put it in the top bins. Uh, and now he's doing it weekly. Ten Deetum has a question for Daps. He says, when do you think Newcastle will compete with Manchester City for a title? Do you know what? They've intrigued me. In January transfer window, they intrigued me a bit. The way that they didn't, they didn't get too involved. I thought they, they might have a little bit more. Um, they know Premier League's watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does seem like that. It? it does seem like that. Like, um, no. I, I always... I, I, I respect how they've done it with kind of... It's almost like they learnt from the first phase of Man City with the way they're not rushing it. Um, it's almost like they're trying to skip that Mark Hughes era at City. Um, I think... The only thing is, with the other investment coming in, they probably do need to take advantage of it. I think if... I really hope Newcastle win the... Um, Carabao. The Carabao. Mm. Um, I always think that a group of players getting that, that, that first that trophy... Who the chat want to see win that Carabao Cup next week? United are going into it way too arrogant for me. They're, they're, and they have to remember that, like, I know they haven't won a trophy for a while, but neither have Newcastle. I think it's going to be a great The, the Geordies are going to come down to London on a different level of hype. Like, en masse. Oh, mate, they're going to take over. That's yeah. why I think this and game I think they is can massive for them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is their last, last home game, isn't yeah. it, before the... So, uh, but in answer to your question... Um, I mean, I guess it all depends on investigations at the moment, doesn't it? But I, I think Newcastle is still a few years away at the moment. I From st- challenging for a, a league. A title, yeah. yeah, yeah, they're still a few I, years I, away. I agree, but I, do, I don't think it's out of the remit that they could win that cup next week. I hope no, no I don't think it is at all. But Man United fans seem to very much oh, think we it's have a, a goal. foregone conclusion. We've got oh, a goal! Oh, and there is a goal, and it has... Or oh, who's it gone to? Abby Summers. <laughs> it has gone to Manchester City. Bernardo Silva makes it Bernardo 1-0. Silva. On this side of the desk. And Fuad, to be fair. By you the way, I haven't celebrated yet. Do you not care? We yeah. haven't seen it oh, yet. No. Do you care? <laughs> I don't know what I feel anymore. Can you just get on board with, you with the rest of You're a fan of Bernardo, right? No, and I hate Bernardo Silva sausage. Let's um, have a look at that. You hate Bernardo Silva's sausage? Well, I would hope so, young man. <laughs> Let's have a look at that goal. Um, nice. Nice. Oh, nice. bang on. Nice. Oh, a great goal. Nice. Lovely nice. Great goal. Finish. Nice. From Bernardo Silva. That's what we City need. are 1 0 up. And that, that's an important goal because, Huge. like I said, round this time, if we haven't got the goal, it yeah. starts getting a bit like. Uh. Uh, and that will put City back at the top of the table should it stay this way. Mm-hmm. Things are looking better. Finally got a goal. It's taken Future's 42 right. minutes to do so, but we Future's finally have great. a goal in the Premier League. The first goal out of all the six games so far, and it is Bernardo Silva. Uh, who has scored and it's a fantastic strike isn't it if it Great if we goal. can see it again Grealish with another assist there is that oh. finds uh, Silver on the edge of the box Silver's Great needed pass. that as well man. yeah he has yeah, is there an argument to Silver's say been... Navas could have done better being, uh, being let's, let's let's look straight at him people in his too much way. pace man let's have a look here then too much it's pace the it, it also it's the people in the way Comes out to Grealish, does well to find Silva the first finish. time. Mm. Oh, oh, it's a Navas great finish. Got to save that for me. You know what? For Navas, in the amount he's probably on at Forest, yeah, maybe. Who? Interesting no, question. Got to when save Henderson's that. back, Navas or Henderson? Uh, Who what? When Navas. Henderson's back. Hen- Navas. You think Navas? Navas, man. I don't know. How old is Navas? I hear you, but how old is he? Thirty-six. I actually think Dean Henderson's been quite decent. I think Henderson's been good for them. Oh, that was apart from that clearance there. Actually, no, that was Navas. Navas. I watched him play for Costa Rica at the World Cup. Um, Uh, We haven't really spoken much about Chelsea. We have been looking and keeping updated, but it doesn't actually look to see that there's been much going on. I mean, it's it's hard to speak. They're not going to score. There was a a headed miss by Jao Felix inside the box. There's been a yellow card for Kula Bali from a reckless offence, according to the referee. Oh, space here. And Grealish uh, is bearing down on goal again. And it's a very good tackle from Serge Aurier. And it's a free kick to Nottingham Forest. What? Okay. I think Grealish is going to get extra hate today because he used to be a Notts County player, didn't he? He was on loan there in 2013. I I saw him score his first ever professional goal at Notts County. I went to uni in Notts and saw it live. Standing next to his dad at the time, actually. And his brother, Kev. Kev Grealish. I've got a story about Jack Grealish. Save it till after. I it's can, not about Jack Grealish. It's someone pretending to be Jack Grealish's dad in Madrid. Oh, and really? he was getting everyone to go. Every, one of his mates was going over, going, hey, Jack Grealish's dad's over there with us. So people going, what? Going over to meet him. And it's a guy pulling out his schlong. Like, in, like, when you get over there, there's a guy with his schlong out with, I think, something tattooed on it. It was like, everyone was falling for it. Weird. Right. right. Manchester humour. 
Right. That's, that's what they get up to. Uh, Abby's no going to be in Madrid soon. <laughs> <laughs> I respect AGT. He really doesn't care about other teams. Just Liverpool, says Carlos Cruz. So, nice, cool name, that. Carlos CC. Um, well, I reckon he would care if it was United potentially going to win the league or Everton going to win the league. It's not that I don't care. It's just I, I don't know how to feel. Yeah, I get Cause that. Because the, the City thing, obviously, I don't want them to win it. And I don't want United to win it. And obviously working you know here funny, I've got two yeah, and and either, so I mean, I think I can't, any, can't win. Anyone that says it's, it's weird that, you know, I would feel that I would want City to, to win these no, games. No, you just don't it's want Arsenal bit, to of win Of course I don't yeah, want yeah. Arsenal to win. Look, I'm a Tottenham fan. Why on earth would I ever want Arsenal to win a league? I mean, I it's always, a little bit weird because flip it around because I'm assuming most of you who are saying I'm shameless and I'm salty are Arsenal fans. So let's say we flip this and it was Tottenham. Well, want you to you would it. do everything. Look, of course. You'd support everyone because you love Chelsea Abby, and everything. Abby, do you, you remember last guys. game of the season know, when Arsenal weird. fans were praying for praying. Norwich? Norwich. Norwich. Look, I remember. So I don't forget say these I'm things. Salty and I how dare I support City? I'm the biggest City fan going because if it was the other way around, you'd all be doing the same Look, thing. I remember, so and I always say sense. this, the most I ever celebrated at Main Road as a kid, yeah, was the season that Blackburn won the league, not Man 95. United. We were playing QPR and we lost 3 2, right? We had one of the biggest celebrations at Main Road that day that I ever saw as a kid. And that was just Man United not winning the league. So, yes, that's how bad And United we were. fans support, we prefer City to win the league over Everton Liverpool. Fans Everton fans support the other team. Yeah. 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 It's, just, it's, you know, yeah. it's weird it's that you guys think it's. But you know weird. what it is? It's Go for Southampton. Oh! Southampton Bridge. We finally get wow. a bit for of action. And it's James Ward Prowse again. Wow. Who else is it going to be? Wow, 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 wow. For Southampton. Chelsea. Another goal. Chelsea are doing proper Chelsea. This is not what we want to see. We want to see Chelsea start to get some wins under their belt. Who does? Well, you do. We want Why? Potter to stay. Uh, AK Dash <laughs> in the super chat said, "Arrogant. Take out the first two games from, and our form has been good, as good as City's and Arsenal's. We did top teams. Good. We've been pretty level-headed this year. I assume that's a United fan. Um, United have been good. Have, no, they have been good. Uh, I think so, yeah. And I think nothing, nowhere near enough has been spoke on Man United's home form as well. By the way, because last season it got to a point where what used to be a fortress of kids. Remember when when I was young." Teams got off the team coach at Old Trafford one or two goals down already, mentally. And the way that you get in Everton go, they're doing sueys or whatever they're called last year. Yeah, Sui's. whatever, whatever they're called, right? I was like, wow, this place is not a fortress no more. Ten Hag has came back and made that place difficult to go to. Yeah. It's rocking. So 100%, asked, uh, Man, United, Man United have been good this season. Mm. And a good result for them in midweek against Barcelona. I mean, I, I would love to see what Matisse is looking like on his, on his stream at the moment. I mean, he must be going wild I mean yep. Kron King said Matisse is going crazy we all will see him on Monday morning whether or not the scoreline stays this way um, is another thing but it is half time at Stamford Bridge and well, apparently almost, almost again by the way it's a stunning free kick he's a man he's so good that man is yeah. now one away from David Beckham's record by the way of 17 Premier League free kicks wow. he's got 16 now and he scores again oh, here, it is. here it is what a Ooh. goal what a goal you know what it is it's the way he gets it over the wall as up well. and down it's, 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 is it the yeah. golf yeah. celebration as well yeah probably he's, was. he's so good he's, yeah. he just doesn't do you know what after so good at them. Does not he, he could listen if no if no other Premier League team want him he could probably go over to somewhere like the NFL I'd love right? to have go him go to the and NFL be a, and, be yeah. and be a kicker yeah. just come on yeah I would take him as well you know I'd love James Hall Prowse it's half time though everywhere isn't it it is it's half time apart from Stamford Bridge we're going to need to see some change from Chelsea if you're well, you know, if you're keeping up to date with the Chelsea game, let us know what you think, uh, how they've been playing in that first half. They are 1-0 down, of course, thanks to James Ward. Um, a bit of handbags we're hearing at Goodison Park as well between Tyler Adams and Dwight McNeil. Um, apparently it was the best they're not fight we've seen at Goodison then. Park since Tony Bellew. So, so they're not running away this week then? No, no. <laughs> um, that is still oh, on. Bellew, yeah. That Hopefully was a great we've fight, got some more sure. goals to come. Uh, Super Chats, uh, one from SK who said, United fans know how well we are doing. Only club in Europe to still be in four competitions. Most game played by anyone. First few months have been absolutely great under Eric Ten Hag. Adam says, Matisse is trying to leave his stream by saying he has a doctor's appointment. <laughs> 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 That'll be a long appointment. It'll still be going on on Monday by, by midday when, it, when he, he never turns up after a Chelsea loss. He does. That's, that's bad, loss. it really is. He oh, never he turns up. Remember that where he didn't. He, he, <laughs> he turns up after a draw sometimes, but on a loss, he doesn't always, he doesn't always show up. Paul saying Chelsea are in the mud. Um, listen, if they lose today, 
I mean, if they lose today, I mean, the the concerns, can, the, the shouts up. for him out are going to grow. Surely. Can I just say the only saving grace is that they have us next week. And what do we always do with Chelsea? Gift it. Gift it. Is it at the bridge as well? It's no. Yeah. It's at home. Oh. But it doesn't really matter. We gift it more often than not. Do you know what? Talking of gifts, quickly. I said earlier I had a gift for you, all right? All right. I was going oh, through my. Cute. I was going through. Um, I got all my. I got all my old, old my old stuff from my um from my mum's house. So my daughter's fitting in my 1991 city top. Yeah. Cute. Now. But um, so I've got some for you lot. I'm just trying to find What's the one the, for you. Um, there it is. That one for you, Alex. Call them? I can't remember what they were. Oh. Is not bobbleheads, no, man. No, 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 no. Because um, I'm a superstar. Right? These are so cute. You remember the names, Gaza. Anne? We're not having Gaza. I, yeah, I, I can't Gaza. have Gaza. Right, okay. Power pods. Was it? Yeah, power pods. Power Terry pods. Venables. Go <laughs> right. on, name Terry them. Who are they? So, Gaza. Right, so who can, Gaza. Who can we have? Terry Venables. Terry Venables. You can have Darren Anderton if you want. Sick note. Cheers. Over, who else is on there? Who else? Right, <laughs> you can have Darren Anderton. Now, these are, these are two City. It was hard to get City ones back in the day as well. but No one cared. Uwe Rossler. Yeah. East German player, mm-hmm. my hero, number 28, and uh, Keith Curl, who was our captain. Keith Curl, great who's, player. Who's this? And then this one. So, listen, these are your choices, you two, because you ain't having them two. They're Teddy too collectible. Oh, Teddy or. Get rid of. You can have Teddy or Darren Anderton. You love a bit of Darren, innit? <laughs> Do you want a Teddy? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You could, no, it's all right. You can, have, you can have Sharing. I'll play you for him. All right. Let's play for it. Yeah. All right, ready? Come. We'll do best of three. Them ones there. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Ha ha, 1-0, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, ha ha, 2-0. Just take him and go. <laughs> Thanks though, bro. Take him that, and go. Man. Thanks so much. Today. I've actually got loads of these at home myself. I Have did an really? Instagram oh, story oh, when oh, I found oh, them recently. Oh, I've got Rude Hullet as well, and then I've got quite yeah. a few England players. I've got like Sol Campbell, I've got um, I've got, Fowler, I've got like as well. four Fowlers, I've got, Fowler. I've got like I've got five Fowler, Owens. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, but like I said, when getting City ones was hard work. It was very hard work back then. I can imagine, actually. Yeah. Do you have the gyms? That's it. Real. I'll be always taking L, says Ice G. Am I? You just lost the, yeah, I know. the rock paper. Always winning. Um, <laughs> Dap's favourite ever player, says Dave. Uh, Vincent Company. Okay. My, if you want old ones, then it was, uh, it was like I said, it was Ross Licking, Cladsey, um, Peter Beagry, Gary Flickcroft from our four. But Mont- Vinny, because he came in before the money and yeah, the captain um, right it's half time as we mentioned in the three o'clock kickoffs. Um, only two goals so far they have come from James Ward-Prowse a fantastic free kick um, that goes in past Kepa and of course Man City with an excellent goal through Bernardo Silva has put them one up away at Nottingham Forest um, Let's uh, go back to Robbie and X, who have got a very ex- important message for us regarding this 12-hour stream that's happening on Wednesday, guys, on AFTV. You have to make sure you pop in uh, for that. All of us are basically going to get involved in that stream, even Expressions heading over to the Op channel, as he says, in this video. But here again is a reminder of what's going on on Wednesday. Have a look. On Wednesday, the 22nd of February, we are doing a special stream over on AFTV, a 12-hour stream to raise money for the Turkey-Syria earthquake appeal. You would have seen the horrific scenes and seen the amount of people that have passed away because of that earthquake. And we're coming together as a football community to raise funds. Special 12-hour stream. You're gonna have all your presenters from AFTV. We've also got guest presenters. We're gonna be doing a Best of Enemies special on there. And... I'm box office main event, genetically jacked, athletically stacked, half man, half amazing, modern day Mac, and I'm coming onto the Ops channel for Turkey and Syria. Forget these waste, man. I'm doing it for Turkey and Syria. I'll be there like the Jackson Five. Just knows for a great cause, and I'm telling you, bruv, I hope you lot can join me. I was just about to say, and I might bring you on. Yeah? <laughs> no, 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 he's on, man. We're gonna be doing a Best of Enemy special, like you said. 100%. There's also gonna be loads of other shows on it. 12 hours, we're raising money. Just make sure you check out the GoFundMe page as well. Mm-hmm. Over on the AFTV YouTube channel. Can't wait, join us Wednesday the 22nd from 12 to 12. It's gonna be big. And big up all the influencers getting involved, doing it for the cause for Turkey and Syria. I'm telling you, everything goes to charity and goes for the cause with them. You get me? Certain man might be doing it for a hairline, but I'm not one of them. Gang business. <laughs> Uh, 
midday to midnight that one 12 hours to, uh, long, to raise funds long, for long turkey and syria yeah uh, yeah lots of um donations would be appreciated <laughs> absolutely uh tina in the super chat said rumors are that Mourinho is linked to psg are the justice managers that are the problems for psg or is it the players it's a good question i would say the players have to take some responsibility the manager has been um, criticised recently by the Ultras who turned off at the training ground mm. in the week to, to speak to the players. I saw Kim Pembe talking to the fans on a megaphone at their <laughs> last loss. So things aren't going well. And of course, they lost in the Champions League as well. Yes, they and That's do. the main trophy they need. We had a PSG fan in um, midweek on the PSG Bayern watch along and he was just saying it's kind of like just the state of the club that it's being running. It's not about being top. It's not about, he goes, they're used to winning titles. Yeah. It's not that. He goes, the team looks so disjointed. He goes, the manager seems to be playing midfielders out, um, defensive midfielders out wide and all sorts. So there's so much kind of outside noise, it feels like at PSG, that even though they're top and they have arguably what you would call the best front three in the world. Yeah still got issues there. but there's issues because and this is something that we spoke about kind of last year um as well when when they they signed messi um that even though you've got an amazing front three mm -hmm. you're effectively not having anyone really track back you're losing three players because they're not going to do that no nope. that kind of dirty Never. work that needs to be done Never. and you can sometimes carry one maybe two in a team, but having three, obviously they'll get you goals. But when you come to the bigger stage like the Champions League, it always to, gets it, found out. It does. It's, it's sometimes what is lovely on paper, um, actually in practice, isn't always yeah. the greatest thing having a FIFA team. It's almost like that disjointedness through the attack and midfield always gets found out, or whether it's kind of the defense, there's too mm. many gaps in between it. For me, it's just, I, I just find it. PSG just don't have a team. I think the fan midweek said it as well. They have a team of Avengers. They have a team that they've assembled kind of hoping, okay, we'll get the best players together. Yeah. It'll give us the best PR kind of campaign and along the way we'll win trophies. Yeah, you'll win some trophies, but I think that's the beauty of the Champions League. Mm. You can't buy it. And time and time again, no matter how many takeovers we've seen, Chelsea, when they won it, it was not the team that they initially spent the money on. Mm. It was actually when that team was on its last legs, yeah. the final hurrah, City still unable to win it PSG You're talking still on PSG. unable to is win it, it yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's just like the Champions League has proven it's the one trophy you can't buy it no do you know what and this is this is the thing that frustrates me a little bit with um with some rival fans when they talk about and City still haven't won it and City still haven't won it right is me as a City fan I respect heritage I've witnessed heritage at the Bernabeu that was heritage mm -hmm. right the way they came back the Champions League's not easy to win and this is the thing, when sometimes fans say, oh, City haven't won it yet, it's like, do you know how difficult the Champions League is to win? There's a reason, like, you're coming up against the best teams in Europe. It's not something that Two you can legs. just get a squad of Avengers and go in. It is the fact that, like, in my lifetime, not a shot, Liverpool have won that I've witnessed, won Premier League, yeah? I've seen them win more Champions Leagues because even when there haven't been that good in the league when it comes to the Champions League and I, I, I've even said it this season Liverpool and Chelsea I would never ever rule them out any season from winning the Champions League mm. because Chelsea have done it when they've got Di Matteo Tuchel and been average in the league they've gone and won the Champions League so I think in that competition heritage means more than in any other competition it really does yep. I'll be at Anfield on Tuesday night for the big one Liverpool versus Real Madrid. And I think across two legs, you never know. Hmm? I'll be at Leipzig Liverpool. on Wednesday. You never know. Yeah, not quite as big, Leipzig. though, to be mm. fair. Not quite as big in terms of European <laughs> pedigree. Um, we also Checking had uh, expressions in yesterday for Best of Enemies. He's always complaining, Abby, about not having a proper chair. <laughs> you know, Robbie has the big, lush, um, you know, reclining chair. Mm. Uh, and Expressions has always moaned about having his own chair. But we finally got him one. Look at this. Let's have a look. Previously. It's, where is my chair, blood? It's a disgrace, fam. All for about three years, yeah, you man have been telling me that you're going to get me my own chair, you're going to get me my own photo, you're going to get me this, and all I'm getting are bare different side men sitting on this dusty ass sofa. This should be for the guests, not me. Where's my chair, bro? To X, I know you've been moaning about this chair, wondering why you have to sit on that sofa, and I've heard you, bro. I've heard you. I kind of went away from that last show, and I felt bad. You deserve a chair. You deserve your own chair. So you know what? 
I went out, I looked around, and I found you the perfect chair. I found you a chair that's gonna suit you down to the ground. I have not spared any expense in getting this chair for your expressions. Finally, this walking Maltese has put some respect on my name. Finally, fam. Come so on. Guys, Let me see it. Bring in the chair. Bro. <laughs> Okay, you that's think you're what funny, you deserve. Man. You yeah. think you're funny. And that's what you deserve, man. Running up your mouth last week. Are oh, you going to get top four? You got smashed by Leicester. You got smashed during the week in the Champions League. That is what you deserve, bro. How's that this brother seat? got me sitting on some Barbie and Ken chair, blood? You know them way there? Are you mad? After you got put in a spliff by City fam. How dare you? You shouldn't be sitting on this fam. You know them way there? You should be sitting on the floor fam. Man can't even see this chair, blood. You know them way there? You probably seen your balls before man can see this chair, blood. Is it this? Disgrace, blood. Put respect on my name, fam. Put respect. I'm not coming back, fam. You should be on one of these as well, blood. Me? Yeah, what do you mean? Yes, you, blood. You sh they should be destroyed plastic on the floor right now, blood. You know them way there? Where's yours? Where's yours, fam? <laughs> That's more like it, fam. Bro, what are you even sitting on, blood? What are you sitting on, Jesus? John Cena? You know what I mean, blood? <laughs> Oh my lord! You get me, fam. You can't even recycle that after, blood. That's what you deserve, blood. You get me, fam. What are you talking about? Fists up by Monopoly, Chester FC. We're a machine. We'll mow you over. We talking about Gary Neville right now, blood. Apologize to Gary Neville, blood. Man, a bombs, blood. Hold that, Robbie, blood. Yeah, hold that, fam. <laughs> <laughs> oh god those two just go at it every single week but they've both got new chairs I think them, I think them suit them suits uh, them seats suit Arsenal though mm. I know there's a lot of Arsenal fans that watch this but why right here's why here's why right. when it comes to the Champions League yeah I know myself right? you can't I know, chat yeah. exactly I know myself neither can you or my you. frustration with Arsenal yeah. fans Jeez. is Arsenal fans since City have since City have become good, it's Arsenal fans are, oh, no matter what, you'll never sit at the big boy table with us, Liverpool and Man United. And uh, being honest, I'm like, why are you putting yourself at that table? Like, I'm sorry, but we get told we didn't win a Champions League. We get told all the time, I get told all the time. They don't. They just dodge that and think they can get a seat and go and sit at that big boy table. I'll get told they're, they're a bigger club. No problem, be a bigger club. I've said this to United fans as well. But the big boy table for me, you need Champions League. That's why for me as a City fan, I'm like, I get it. Until we get that Champions League, we can't talk in certain categories. Whereas Arsenal fans always feel they can do. Yeah. Should Arsenal fans be criticised more for not winning the Champions League? I'm going to be hated League, for that, but I'm being honest. <laughs> they had enough chances in it. They haven't for a while. Well, Abby, do you it's know we've reached... for them to be on. in it, though. Sorry. They just get round to 16 and We've and reached done. more... So, I think one of Arsenal's biggest claims was that they were in the Champions League, was it 19 years oh, in yeah. a row? Mm -hmm. Right. So, City have been in it 12 years in a row. We've reached more semi-finals than they have. What? Well, yeah. I'm just putting it's it out the there. We've Chelsea's reached... got the most, isn't it? I yeah, yeah. They... And that's why Chelsea, I mean, Chelsea year. can talk on the Champions League. They've, they've won two in, what, the last 10 20 years? years? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, less than that, actually. They can talk. They can talk. They, they can, can talk. talk. We can't, but this is the whole thing. Arsenal reached, I think, one semi-final, one final. Well, I'm interested to see next season, because obviously, even if, to if, if, to even if Arsenal don't win the league, they're going to finish second, I would expect. So, um... I'm interested to see them back in the Champions League. They haven't been in it for a very long time. So I'm, ex mm. I, I'm in a way, I'm intrigued to see how they'll fare. Were you guys happy with your result they, the other they, day, for, by the way? Because I thought it was an all right result. It's not the worst result. It's not the worst result with the, the midfield result. you had. Yeah. I actually thought our midfield wasn't that bad. Well, yeah. I yeah, thought, it's I, I thought that, that... I didn't <laughs> think the midfield was a problem. It was just the fact that they lacked experience. Yeah. yeah. The but, fact but, that it was yeah. both of them making their Champions League yeah. days. But I thought they actually would have two yeah. best performers I agree. on our team. I think they possibly helped, possibly they the best you've seen midfield this season. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, I mean, look, Ben Benton Benton Cors, Cors, yeah, Benton Cors, yeah, 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 yeah. He's different gravy, but obviously he's out for the rest of the season. We're back underway, by the way. We're just waiting on uh, Chelsea, Southampton and uh, Brighton, Fulham, but everyone else is back. But um, just Arsenal going back into the Champions League, yeah, well, just based on the coefficients, would they, what seed would they be in the group stage? <gasps> That's a really good shout. If they win the league. If they finish second. If so when we second, used to win the league, would they be fourth pot? 
Alex, Probably. can I just say, when we first won the league and we were in the Champions League, we were still in pots below Arsenal. Yeah. yeah. Because like, of the fact you, that they... Unless you win the title, it doesn't make that much might of a change difference to your to coefficients. Fair, and if they've been out of the Champions League for about four years, they should be at the lowest... I think they've been out for longer than that. Six longer. years or something like that. So, yeah. so they could be third or fourth pot, which would put them in a crazy group, essentially. And but again, based on this season's form... I would expect them to get out of that group because we have to give them respect. I know I've just spoke absolute crap on your club, not your club, <laughs> Arsenal fans. But hey man, I'm just they saying. have been good this season. I think they would get out of the group. But it's interesting. Oh, it's not a case of if they, I'm not saying group. they wouldn't get out of the group or not, but if they've got a tough group stage mm. on top of the regular Premier League season, mm. 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 something that we something mm. that we didn't you know what I mean, see this season. Arsenal fan Tom Williams says that's mad you've reached more semi-finals and not won it congrats that's a massive achievement <laughs> I'm, no um, I, but, but I started off saying I know myself on that but it's like Arsenal fans don't always well so they're rattled because Jack speaking about Chelsea I mentioned well, obviously you mentioned they've won it twice he says it's called oil money dappy five billion oh, uh, hold on what's his second name Jack Napier yeah <laughs> hi Jack you've managed to get me this guy's blocked from every channel I go on oh is carry it? on yeah, yeah. he's Sorry a troll he's usually in my uh, Twitter great <coughs> new the account city fan, me. the oh. city fan sounds hurt says LCU for Manette that's weird Chelsea down Spurs up says David Bowles uh, Tendi Item says if Arsenal wins the league pot one if not they'll be in pot three because they still compete in Europa League stuff UEFA true, coefficients true, true, true. also yeah. take into account the Europa and the conference that's true leagues. and they did get a lot of semi-finals in that so so third pot a lot of semi-finals <laughs> except one hmm. <laughs> Potter needs to yeah, leave yeah. Chelsea and go Europa to Pot Court oh you open this yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right let's talk about Tottenham now um, again we're going to go back to it Maurizio Pochettino listen until you get a new manager or until <laughs> Conte signs we're going to be speaking about this last word on Spurs got to be in said the country to sign, isn't it? that Antonio yes, Conte will leave Tottenham Hotspur oh, with exactly. Maurizio Pochettino returning as manager today it was revealed that the Italian tactician has remained in Italy with his family following the AC Milan game to help him mm. recover from surgery mm -hmm. um Spur, some Spurs fans, fans have been saying it doesn't matter who the manager is, it's the hierarchy that is the problem. What do they now think about Pochettino being the answer? Is it a good move for him to return? I know you've been calling for this all season. Um, but obviously the squad that they've got now is nowhere near the squad that Pochettino had. But we've seen, uh, again, him li still living in London. He's enjoying the London sunshine what on a, a brisk walk. I think that was Hampstead. Is it? No, no. no. Was it not? He lives near us. Okay, fair enough. Which is um, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Do you like his postcode? Yeah. Yeah. yeah which road exactly? Uh, yeah. He, he lives near. He lives near uh, Bournemouth. And I. Bournemouth goal uh, away at Wolves, which is a massive goal for them in the relegation fight. But let's go back to Tottenham and Abbey. Um, is he the man to come back? Does he want that job? And will they give him that job if Conte doesn't sign? I firstly fully agree with the hierarchy that is the problem. Um, and that I was basically I, written about I, you, I, that I, question. Yeah, that is about me. Um, and I don't think it does matter who is in charge. However, I am completely resigned, as everybody knows, with Tottenham. And I would love to have Maurizio Pochettino back. That was probably the happiest time in mm. my Spurs life. Um, that five and a half year period. I never thought he should have been sacked. I think he deserved more time and to warrant. Yes, there were things that had gone stale. Um, we know that, but I don't think that was wholeheartedly down to him. Yeah. Definitely not. He, he had a lot of transitions during his time there. Consistently managed to get us in the top four. Didn't have, had seasons without any transfers, very minimal budget, away from home, a new stadium, and got us to a Champions Sorry. League final, might I add. Not saying it was blameless, there was cup finals, which, you know, he made the wrong move in, weird things that had gone on, maybe wrong decisions at times, but overall, I would say he was a very good manager for us, um, and he deserved 100% more time. I'd love to see him back, it's the type of football I want to see. Um, you know, we've got a defensive manager at the moment and we absolutely cannot defend. Um, things need to change. But at the same time, he's going to come back to a side where he had Eric Dyer, he had Ben Davis, he had Hugo Lloris. And Davis and Dyer weren't starters under Pochettino. They were. They, That's a they were really good players. point when and, I heard that recently. And they are, they, they are yeah. starters. So again, there's going to have to be some type of a overhaul. But my thing, bottom line is whether or not Daniel Levy will hold his hands up and say the last five years mm -hmm. I shouldn't have really done it because we are looking at a four five year period now since he left the club we've gone backwards mm -hmm. the squad is worse we haven't challenged for anything we've just about scraped top four somehow do you know what Abby? 
the biggest thing for me is is a neutral looking in, right? Because I obviously I don't pay attention to Tottenham that much to comment on things, but it's the energy of the club. The energy oh. under Pochettino was positive, right? The fan base seemed generally together. Behind him. Whereas now, since since him, it hasn't been. But because again, he's he's bless you, he's um he's appointed two managers who are ex Chelsea. It is quite difficult, in my opinion, to to back ex-managers you know unless they go on and do something mm -hmm. that you know turns the tide very quickly or they win you something and I think with Mourinho at the start people were like okay let's see how this pans out but once it got to Conte yeah it's a great signing he's a great manager but he's not going to fit this club because you're not you're not going to give him what yeah, he yeah, yeah, needs yeah. to win what he can win and we've seen yeah. that everywhere he goes and that's why for me I'd rather have a manager who knows how this club is run he knows Daniel Levy we know what we're going to get from Pochettino it's lovely football I want to see good football I, mm. I, I haven't been since Problem. since New Year's that, Day. Problem is that has anything changed since he left? No. That's why I asked the question. Would so you for me, the it's job? a case of would that's. I do job? think that's he why I'm looking at. I'll job. be honest with you. I'm if if I see Poch walking back in at Spurs, I'm side eyeing him a little bit because I'm. You think I'm, where's your ambition, bro? You like you went to PSG. You won a title. This is meant mm. to be. Now I go on and push on and become an elite manager. And instead, you've walked back to your ex who hasn't improved. Still the same situation, still just as ugly, and you're going to be forced to turn around and fix that situation. But sometimes, when, it, but sometimes when it's I love, love it's Poch, love, no? But the thing is, I love Poch, but he's not a messiah. And I don't believe he can come in and even fix this. And the worst thing is, all he will do is come in, I feel like, and almost Ruined, tarnish what yeah. he did the first time around. And it's like, why yeah, did we that. even bring him back in? And then we're stuck in this vicious cycle of, why do we keep... It's, it's the same thing we do with players sometimes, yeah. as Spurs fans as well. We, we, we cling on to these players for years and years longer than they should have. I'm more of the idea of, all right, uh, I remember last time you were here together, mm. I was saying Tuchel. I think that is kind of more of the content. But another one. Chelsea one. Is Tuchel a good manager or not? No, I agree Tuchel's with you. Tuchel's a great manager. Another yeah, Chelsea one. I, I hear it. Yeah, yeah, I do hear manager. it. I think he could come in and make a change, but same like Jose, same like Conte, you have to give him the back end. Mm. I don't think the board can. And I'm looking at someone right. like a Brendan Rodgers, who I've seen Leicester take a dip. Mm. I've seen the relationship he has with Madison. That's a player that we need as well. You go yeah, but we're not going to pay the money that James Madison... They wanted in the summer. They turned down three bids for Newcastle up to 80 million. We're not going to go and But Brendan Rodgers and Levy is destined to fail, by the way. That's destined to fail. For me, I think, saw the I think Brendan Rodgers is more inclined to work with what he's kind of given and he's shown that at Leicester and he can work kind of within a budget and develop players. And I think at Spurs, that's what we need at this point. Yeah, I agree. We need I a manager of that, that Pochettino yeah. mould. I, I, I totally But agree I don't know you. if it's Pochettino himself I yeah. would go back for. It's kind of more of... Going back to your ex type of thing, I would rather Brendan Rogers, Marcelo Gallardo, and don't know people know much about him, River Plate manager. He developed a lot of Argentinian talent uh, over there. Um, and Thomas Frank is one. Maybe I would. I would, I would love. I don't Thomas know Frank. if that's an interesting one. I think. Yeah. I, I really rate Thomas Frank highly. I do. He's okay. just signed a new contract, I believe, at Brentford as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that's not going to happen. Um, and I would also say it's a lot to do with how the clubs run because Brentford do the money ball metric, how they yeah. do their players, similar to Brighton. They're not going to get that at Tottenham. So mm -hmm. if I was Thomas Frank, I wouldn't come. You know, that's just, the model we need and, to take. And though. also the same way that Graham Potter turned us down twice. It's the thing though. I, I'm of the idea of now I feel like Levy, this is where I said earlier on with the owners as well. He has to look at the landscape and know he cannot compete with the bowling. He knows he, he can't compete. compete with these men. So, you ha so what's the alternative then? Actually, Because we don't have an academy where we develop youngsters. I, I just want to say to you. We used to do the sign young European talent and develop them on yeah, and then push them on. But we don't. Now the money ball way that Brighton and Brentford and these teams are doing it works yeah. and it's really and truly it's the mold that we used to have but with data actually added into yeah, it yeah so. and actual yeah, analytical is. data yeah, i yeah. was just going to say to you when you said about the todd bowley thing joe lewis is as rich the, as roman abramovich I, I tweeted this out like two three he's weeks ago. as rich so as todd bowley Ri please. as rich as if not richer <laughs> than todd bowley he's as rich as roman abramovich yeah. was oh. he could make this club great Mm. They choose not to. And that is why we always end up, when we have these discussions, we go full circle because it's like, yes, we want this manager, but they're not going to back him. So we have to move on to another one. Yeah, but if we're going to get that one, then Poch is basically a like for like. And have someone that loves the club. And then you come full and, circle. And it will come to the cycle now where you see now I'm saying we should go after like a Thomas Frank and Brendan Rodgers. There'll be some first and say, you don't have enough ambition. Yeah. These guys aren't going to win us titles. <laughs> Do you know so what? This literally what she like, said there, it's like a, a vicious cycle. Yeah. You can you know, never win. But you can never win. You know what? And this isn't just in football. But with ambition, sometimes you have to play the long, the long game and you have to know your role, right? And know that right now, just because your role is 
the role you're playing right now. That doesn't mean that's your role forever. We just that's stability. your role to get you to where you can then be a better role. Well, I, I'd, I'd argue that the best chance we ever had at being anywhere close to that and challenging and looking good was under Pochettino and that wasn't breaking the bank we just built a really good yeah, squad yeah. that can challenge and unfortunately due to the lack of investment whether that be because of the stadium going on or you know maybe that was bad timing mm. at the beginning but you know the last four years since since then has think, proved that it's not just about bad timing it's about terrible ownership I think <laughs> it's I, the other thing I've always said with the Oh my With God, Tottenham. Bayern Munich 3-1 down, by the way. I know it was Bundesliga, but Munchen Gladbach battering them 3-1. Ooh. Marcus Turam. Also I Leipzig 2-0 up away. Wow. That's, uh, um, Wolfsburg before you played them on Tuesday. I think with, with Tottenham, when, when Jose came in, right, the one thing that I liked from Tottenham fans was that they were like, we don't want to change to play in a kind of, I don't want to say boring, but... A, a, a more negative style of football than maybe Pochettino played. And they were, they were willing to say, win, just to win a trophy, which is mad, but just to win a trophy, we don't want to sell our soul, mm. right? But under Conte, it's like he's allowed to do that. And this is what confuses me. And I've been saying all season, there needs to get to a point where Tottenham fans are speaking about him the way they were speaking about Jose. Mm. But then I do get the whole narrative, exactly what you said, that Dio never used to be... A these, starter, these but now under Conte, who's a player, a, a manager that needs solid defenders, he's got Dyer, and and that is the one thing where I go, that's a good point, and it is for me. That's where I'm like, yeah, Tottenham fans probably need to be doing more like Liverpool fans and like Man United fans, and and saying this is this is on Levy, it's not. But, on but Conte, I'll, I'll be on. honest with you, and and maybe Fred will will agree with me that I think in the past maybe Spurs fans were still there was some, there was still some Levy lovers. You know, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, I would yeah. like to say, I think the only problem was the Man City game kind of quietened it down for a minute because there was, there was a period of time <laughs> it does where every it was, season. Yeah, but there was a period of time where Twitter was, I felt it was a lot more Levy out than I'd ever seen it. Mm -hmm. But what I always, what always makes me laugh is that it's very hostile on there, and then they go, yeah, let's go and do a protest, and you see about three people standing yeah. there with a banner. <laughs> yeah. and Mate. You know, I, I take on the stance that, f from, from my opinion, I'm not going to go and stand outside, you know, the, the stadium. I'm not going to go stand outside the training ground because Daniel Levy doesn't care. What <laughs> yeah, Daniel Levy cares know. about is when there's not money coming yeah. in in his pocket. And for me, yes, I've had my season ticket. I will always have my season ticket. But, you know, I put it on the exchange. I give it to someone else who wants to go and sell it through the club. That's fine. I've refused the last three seasons yeah. to take up a season ticket I've yeah. not gone to as many games over the last three years and I remember it was after the Pochettino second and the Jose second for me was just like I think the Jose where the hell are we the, the, the Jose one, one for me was almost like the final yeah. 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 I'll be honest final. with you that, that Conte, was Conte gave me a little bit of a second yeah. win to be like I agree Oh, but then right after the summer window I was straight back to uh, yeah, do you know what it was with, with the Jose one thing. was the fact that you were in a final and it literally was this was the confirmation that money is more important than trophies yeah. to your also own. though that literally it's the case of if he plays that game we're gonna have to pay more money so let's get rid it's of it's not that. even that um, you gotta remember the context at the time the europa the european it? super league they, crap they would just happened to, like, a week blame before it on him and they were way. one of the ones that were were trying to get tight and everyone's like tottenham yeah. Who, who invited them man there yeah. like, so it was like how did Levy manage to so Spurs fans were angry in the sense of you actually the stadium this was your ultimate plan mm. like it wasn't yeah. about winning it wasn't about getting great managers it was about getting to a super league looking like an elite team through a stadium mm. and we were livid with the board and I remember that was when the whole protest thing was happening yeah. and all of that and then all of a sudden Jose went and it was like all the anger that everybody had towards the team and the squad all went out with kind of Jose and it was like oh let's get behind Mason and you know he's one of our own and I was like you happy slappers fell for it again <laughs> yeah like it's, it's but it's every season there's always something that turns the tide yeah so whether it's or usually not, a city win <laughs> yeah well, well whether or not he you know gets rid of Conte before the end of the season. I don't think it matters because he's going at the end of the season anyway. But, yeah. you know, maybe, maybe he thinks that getting Pochettino back in makes everyone happy and people, you know, kind of forget about 
Daniel Levy and, and what's going on upstairs. But I really don't think anyone's ever going to forget about it. And I think the worst way oh, no. to affect Daniel Levy is to hit him in his pockets. I, you know, I, I refuse to buy any more tickets other than my season ticket and I don't want to go. I don't want to waste my time. I'd rather let someone else go who doesn't always get an opportunity by putting them on the exchange and, you know, whoever else in the world wants to go and watch it. Um, and, you know, as long as this club is forever going to be run like a business, beyond, you know, Beyonce tickets, you know, when we could be potentially, not that we will you be. You got them through your the, season ticket, though. No, you have to still buy them. You've got priority. If you, you got priority. I, so, did you take I, up I that priority? I didn't take that priority for Beyonce tickets. No. 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 Um, I have no interest in giving any more money up, back yeah. to yeah. Enoch than they already take. No. Um, but for I wonder me, if Beyonce will lose as well. But, but that, be, that Beyonce, that Jay-Z Beyonce concert, that Beyonce ticket, that Beyonce concert is in and around the FA Cup. So let's say Tottenham got to, I think, an FA Cup semi or something like that, then the stadium's in use. So wow. this is the thing. So there you go. Is it all about the money? Let us know. A couple of questions I wanted to ask you. If Poch was to come in, what would Spurs fans expect from him in the summer in terms of maybe the new motivation to go on and actually I'll, win I'll be something? Honest, him or the is board? Get back? The, the, the same know, thing that we I'm were asking. expecting last summer. New centre-backs. I think we that's can, not on Poch, that's on Levy, yeah, right? But that, it's, not, it's not him that's going to be doing the, bi- the, the bidding and him that's going to go and be buying the players at the end of the day. Yeah, it's 100%. the board. So yeah. what can Poch do other than re-motivate what he's got, try and work? What, what I would expect Poch to do is have someone like Destiny Adoji, who's going to be back from Udinese. He's been, he's been on loan and apparently having a very good season. Jed Spence will come back from Wren and I'd expect to see yeah, 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 Jed would. Spence looking really good, ready to start, hopefully in August, and, and Adoji. Well, so, but, so, but that's interesting because that would then mean... Pedro Porro. Well, mm. Why can't you have two good fullbacks? Be, be nice for us to have no, a selection. I hear, you. <laughs> I hear you, but why can't you both be good? For me, I want to see. Jed no, I hundred percent agree with you. Absolutely, but... want to see Jed Spence, Pedro Porro. Yeah, I'm sure will be good, but you can you can also have more than one good player, yeah. which is Spurs' biggest I mean, problem. Next season, the fullbacks need to be Jed Spence, uh, Pedro not... Porro, Reguilon, and um, oh, right, so four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get rid of some of those. There's no way Destiny. we're there's no way we're not going to. The young Italian kid. You think we'll keep well Reguilon? Yeah, I think? think bring him back and have him as backup cover. He's much better than Sesson. I agree with Perisic you. Perisic is 34 and yeah, a winger. Yeah, yeah, totally yeah, agree. Yeah. So for me, Perisic that, that, that being found Perisic, out. Perisic, yeah. and the thing is, I feel like, yeah, he has been a little bit yeah. found out defensively yeah. in the Premier League. And in a back four, I don't know if he's going to make. Once Conte leaves, I'm almost going back to a back four. I agree with you. Enough of this back five nonsense. We've shown under Jose and Conte, the problem why we're playing a back five is because we don't have good enough centre backs. Mm. Address that with two quality centre backs in the summer. Which is what we needed last summer. The full backs, <laughs> you actually don't need to sign anyone. The players are already and there. Also, yeah, imagine how nice it would be to play with an attacking midfielder. Yeah, that's, a, that's one of the that. biggest things I, I think you lot miss what that feels like to actually play with someone that Do creates you know in the middle Everton of the park. At Goodison Park. Someone's happy. <laughs> in the six pointer. Why were you so happy then? It's just my job. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to sound energetic when the goal goes in. Seamus Coleman, of all people, the right back, the veteran right back, huge. has scored. I just presumed it was never scored. That's why I thought no, you were No, no, listen, huge. it was. Going back to Spurs, though, what does this mean for Harry Kane if um, Poch does come back in? Ooh. Don't fall for it, bro. That's all I'm going to say to him. I don't, don't, I don't, it, think, he'll, I don't think he will. Like, I th- I've, 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 I, sat, I almost sound like an anti-Spurs fans over the last month or two because Spurs fans are like, well, why are you asking Kane to leave? I'm not asking Kane to leave. I just don't think we can offer Kane what he wants. And what his career deserves when you look at it is trophies that go with the individual honours. He's given us everything possible over the last 10 years or yeah. whatever. And what have we given him? Nothing. Nothing. Mediocre teams. Yeah, and that's essentially <laughs> entrapment is what we've done. False promises, bad management, bad teams, and no kind of backup. So it's a case of what, what loyalty do you have to give to us? Do you us? know what? I, oh, I, I mistake. personally oh, would love for him to stay and try and win a silverware with us, retire your days that with us. Poor. Love it. But in reality, your career, I would prefer it that it has you, medals at the end. Do you know, I, I feel like with, with this situation with Kane, whether he stays or go, in my opinion, kind of will define him as a player, right? Because if he has any belief in himself, and also he, he should remember that Levy gave him that gentleman's handshake that I'll let you go, right? You should never forget that. He effed him over, right? Me, I won't ever forget if someone lefts me over. After and if, a handshake like yeah, that. 
right? So if you stay, that's kind of saying you're questioning yourself. Yeah. Because if you believe in yourself, you believe that Levy did you over, you want to go and get a trophy, you leave Tottenham. If he doesn't, for me, it's kind of on Kane that, bro, you don't believe in yourself my, enough my, to step my away only from thing this at, comfort zone. My only thing with that period of time, I don't genuinely Pep's believe that it was... been yellow carded, by the way. Okay. Oh, he's still in his face as well. <laughs> <laughs> I still genuinely don't believe that the, the bid from Manchester City was credible enough. I agree. And I, think I that, do agree. And I, and I absolutely, for, for once, I agree with Daniel Levy at that point. You stand by and you say, unless the, this amount of money comes in, you're not going. You yeah. are our best asset. What was that, 100? It was, I think, the max. I think bid it was, was actually less eight, than I think that. it was 80. They bid 85. 85. Yeah, yeah. It was, it, that was their I think it was, yeah. And you are not going to sell Harry Kane with three, three and a half years left on the contract for 80 million, because who on earth would do that? And also, you I wouldn't. think that interview, the timing of the interview with yeah, Neville, where he's going, listen, if they get 100, I'm sure he would accept that because he's shaking. That was just awful timing it was, it all was, it around. Was poor. But, but then, and again, poor. this is the thing, though, and this is what even more, I think, comes into it, is that it kind of exposed Kane's, I think, brother at the time. Yeah, his brother. Uh, his, 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 his agent. So again, that also made his brother look silly. Now, I'm just speaking as a man that if that has happened to me at a club with an owner, yeah, although Levy may be right, still as a man, if that's happened to me, my brother, right, if I then go, yeah, but I'm still going to stay here and be loyal, that's me questioning my yourself, belief in myself. Man. I don't yeah, rate yeah. myself. I'm like, no, you've, you've made me, my brother, and my career look stupid respectfully, now I've got a year left on my contract, which it is. If he, Kane hasn't signed yet, has he? He's got a year left no, on no, his he'll contract. No, no, he'll have a year left at the end of this season. So, look, it's only if Tottenham want to get some money for him <coughs> at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. if not, Ooh. we could say you have to stay Ooh. for one more. Oh, oh, Holland! Holland! Oh. Holland. Oh. Oh. What a miss from Erling Haaland. Oh. That was Nunes oh. levels. Oh, that was poor. Relax yourself. Um, yeah, he's still going to have a year on the, a year left on the contract at the end of this season. So it's really going to be whether or not Daniel Levy wants yeah. to get a bit of cash for him, or he might. What just do you think say you'd you get for him with a year left? Seventy. Now you're talking eighty. 80 yeah, 80. I think that's now the bracket you're looking at. But it's who's going to. What, what's going on? You know what? With someone like United and Newcastle about in the summer, yeah, potentially you could get about eighty, Newcastle, eighty-five. Please, man. No, New no. no for, for me, it's, it's, it's listen, United. listen. He's going to go to Newcastle, United. take take Shearer's record, and get a trophy. It's United or nothing. <laughs> I think it's United, United or nothing. Or nothing. <laughs> yeah, but I, but I would say fun. at the same time, if you look at it and you say, well, why would I do that this summer? I can just wait a year and do it on a free potentially no listen yeah I don't know we're, we're, it's going to be a very interesting oh. summer but I'm, I'm back to the original question I'm happy if Poch comes back I, I don't mind at least I, I know I like the football I'm watching mm. there and you go. go the thing is that the football became good after he got his pieces in place when he got the alley but sun we've got, firing we've got the fullbacks I feel like that first year though do you remember because it was transition so yeah. Yeah. it was transition it wasn't always great yeah, and well, I'm it like it wasn't always good the first year but I would be you can't I get what you're saying at least I'd go I think yeah. I'd see more from what we're getting now plus with the two it's, it will hopefully be a lot younger squad like our fullbacks hopefully starting next year mm -hmm. you know will be half Destiny the age of one Poro. Destiny oh. and Poro or Destiny that. and Spence do you know what I like that. and hopefully and it's just also, two new centre backs it's down that right side that uh, Poro or Spence yeah then you've got uh, Kulishevsky and um, he's young Kulishevsky and who's well. the midfielder that's in Bentancourt. Bentancourt all three of them on the right side yeah that's nice. It's, Romero, it's, it's Romero nice. right centre back. But also, we've got to get a new goalkeeper. Oh, you there have has to get been a new another goal in the Premier League, league and it's goalkeeper. Eze for Crystal Palace. Ooh. He's put the 1 0 up yeah, hey. wow. at Brentford. So wow. the guys I are coming in. going to win 3 0 as well, by the way. I did. I did. I did. Chelsea is still losing, by the way. It's yeah, still yeah. Southampton. Still. Yeah, your keep, sorry, your keeper issue is mad because your backup's nearly as old as your. He's actually, I think he's out of contract, Larissa. It's so funny, man. I've been telling, contract, I've been saying. But then you're back should, up to Luis. I've been saying we should you? replace Luis yeah, for about four awesome. seasons yeah. now. Yeah. I've been saying. And people are always like, yo, he's one of our loyal he's ones. He's Cup consistent. And, he's yeah. won a World Cup. And I'm like, I remember that season after the World Cup was when I was like, no, I'm done with him. Agreed. You could 20, always just see there was a January and February period where his concentration or mentals mm. would just drop off. And I was like, no, he's costing us actual points. Yeah, like yeah, they yeah. say keepers are meant to save you 10 points a season or win you 10 points a yeah, season. Yeah. He's costing he was costing us. Yeah, so I was like, good. no, we have to actually move on because Fergie, Pep, the good thing they always did was they got rid of a player before he expired. Too often at Spurs, we've seen Lamella, we've seen Lucas Moura, we've seen Ben Davis, we've Dyer. seen Eric Dyer, we've seen Musa Sissoko. All players that should have been sold long before they were actually the, sold. The, Some the, still at the club. The, the Do you know the one I would have yeah. kept longer? 
was Dembele, you know. I think oh. for me, Dembele is one of the most underrated. I will take over the whole series with Dembele. Actually, and he and is you unbelievable know the season where guy. you know the season where you were <sighs> in the to- in the title race. Got yeah. the fucking Champions League final without our best player. And that, do you know what? I always think to myself, if if we'd have you know we saw Dembele in that January. How many weeks was starting in my Champions League final. If, we, if go, we'd go have back kept to Dembele another six my months, so we sold him for like twelve million but or something like that. You know the like season. That. You know <sighs> the season you were in the yes. title race. It was, I believe he got suspended and missed three games. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when he played. That was massive, because for me, yeah. he is one of the most underrated midfielders oh, in joke. Premier League history. I agree. I actually you know agree. Agree. But, but do you know what annoys me even more as a Spurs fan here is I remember when Moussa Dembele was at the club, he wasn't rated like this. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Not yeah. even Spurs fans I'm talking did not rate him like really? this. They, there was, I put him on level some Spurs fans that used to be like they would prefer Dyer and Wanyama. Oh well, my Some God. would give the winks loving. Some it. would prefer Sissoko. And I'm like, no, no. they're like Dembele doesn't because you gotta remember Dembele when we signed him, he was almost like a ten. I loved him. And so. people always expected goals from him. And I was like, no, no, forget no. the he goals. What is this man glide you know, past? Yeah. He scored at Fulham, but when when we got him, he scored at Fulham. And RZ, I think, before that as well, but I've always just loved the way he plays. For me, yeah. it's the definition of like a pure number eight. Yeah. Tackles, wins his jaws. Light on the ball. Light on the ball. Great feet. Like, oh, looks for his joke. teammates. And every teammate who's played with him, ask him who the best player they played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Without hesitation. I think Belgium dropped off when he moved away from international he's football as well Belgium to be found with idiots. he's, su- he's yeah. such they a great to, player they kept trying to force Witzel Nigel, yeah, 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 yeah. they never even yeah. used to use him properly mm. he used to piss me off they have him playing left wing and yeah. shit oh. he, was un- he was an unreal player H- him in Yan Vertonghen my favourite ever no, yeah, like Dembele was a like silky, along, man. silky <laughs> baller. <laughs> right, man. Um, just keeping an eye on the City game, 20 minutes to go. There was a bit of back and forth there between John Joe Shelby and Is Jack that Grealish. What Shelby was it? And oh, Shelby's yeah, just been subbed sense. off Come and he on, said, I'll City. see you after. Are Did you he? going after, tunnel after me and you. <laughs> Shel- <laughs> Shelby oh, to Grealish. <laughs> you don't look with Voldemort. What yeah. manga light is that am I seeing right there? Not. No, it's not, not the Man same City. one, bro. Not it threw me off. No, it's not. No, it threw no, me no, the no. other day. Lord it's not. It's not. I was thinking that guy can't be back in the league. But this is a big chance for Manchester City free kick. No, Mar is on the pitch. I'm not laugh already it. depressed now after talking about that. Oh, what a save Ooh. from Kane. Do you know what? Navas, Navas has pulled off a couple of saves, bro. That is an incredible save. Told you. Navas over Hendo. That is an incredible save. Legend. It would have been a great goal. Let's have another look. Oh, it's Gundavan with the. Oh, Gundo, Gundo. Great save. Gundo was good the other day against Arsenal. It's a great free kick. Been, I've been questioning him recently. Um, going back to, I know it hurts it's you, but going back to I can't Spurs, lie. you play West Ham tomorrow. West Ham have taken five points from the last three Premier League games, as many as they'd won in their previous ten. Slight up in, uh, up form, upturn in form for West Ham. They come to uh, Tottenham tomorrow. What are we thinking for that one? They, I mean, like, they like it, to win at In us. the preview yesterday, you did say it is, is set up for a West Ham win, didn't uh, you? I think it all roads at the moment lead to a West Ham win. Um, and I don't want to sound too negative because, yes, I am a Tottenham fan. And obviously, I do want us to win because it would... If, if Newcastle can either draw or lose today, and we could win tomorrow, it puts us in the top four. It does look better for us. Uh, but ha- that being said, West Ham... L- Honestly, this is it's their cup final. They absolutely yeah, yeah. love playing against us. How many times have they beat us at home? They, beat, they reminds the me of when we play you, Abby, to be fair. They, they, <laughs> they, they get so up for it when they play us. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, Lanzini. Um, I don't know. I, I can see it maybe being a, a draw. Is that London City? Uh, yeah, no, no, it's at home. Oh, yeah. I, I just, I, my whole off. thing is, we've got no Benton Core, who was by far our best player aside from Harry Kane. Um, got no Basuma. Mm. That midfield. You're looking weak in the field. You might oh, as well not. Great ball, Kulisevsky great ball, great ball. Kulusevski still, still doesn't that's look. Off. Yeah, it, it, and I, that's not to say he's not going to be back good because he will be back good. But again, he had a long injury. Son still not stepped up to the defense plate. Is mm. still the defense. defense is still indefensible. We have Fraser Forstein. Forstein. Do, do you guys think you were good Marks. against us, by the way? Who? So when we played I actually you, thought we weren't too bad. I, I, but I don't think you were that good against us. I think no, we were just really, good. really bad. I said but you lot didn't get out of second gear. We just took advantage of that. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was so surprised by you. Yeah, so, so, I like, so surprised. But I, like I said, the whole lineup, the, that, the day after that game, obviously, all the news came out. But that, that night when I got home is probably the lowest I've felt 
in, to do with football for quite some time because it wasn't just the fact that we lost it. Look, we lose at Tottenham. It was the way we lost. Mm. It was the way there was no leader on the pitch. And it was just like, it's I'd weird. come on the day before on your show and I'd say, right, with Arsenal oh. dropping points, if we are the city of old, we go to Tottenham's ground, which is a hard ground to go to, but we get it done. And then to go there and see no Diaz, no Laporte. Um, Anytime there's no Diaz or Laporte, your team is on serious. I'm, I'm, yeah, there's man. no coincidence Diaz has come back into the team and all of a sudden... I said that. It's, and to be no honest with you, I think Hadri have got one goal. Because you, you yeah, hit we, the... We, 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 we were looking good. We were looking good. I think Hadri have got one goal. I think Tottenham would absolutely have crumbled. And for me, I can see West Ham going 1-0 up and let's see if we can get... <laughs> Like <laughs> I'm sorry I don't want to sound no depressing Conte, it might I just be, um, yeah it might actually maybe it would be a good yeah. thing you know uh, Stellini's in charge he's I'm going to go 2-0 win Spurs 2-0 Spurs take a draw surprise surprise I think I think, you think know, well. I think 2-0 Spurs is a nil. good shout 2-0 Spurs <laughs> And the defence. I don't know how you can even put yeah, a nil. Yeah, I'll I'll put a nil there. A like, two, two. Well, I, I'd actually say Larice is quicker to, to react. Um, three two. Imagine. Just just what I saw last <laughs> it's week. It's gone from no. two nil to three two. <laughs> Forces like Joe Hart. Like yeah. we actually got them. Like maybe two or three years if we got them before, it would have been. Ah, right, you could yeah. be a sufficient backup. Mm. But they are like. No, they should be retired. Do you remember, they do you remember having for- Michelle Vaughan? And do you ever remember Michelle Vaughan never used to move off the line? Like, you know what was the maddest would have been better with he, Michael Vaughan. I remember <laughs> Michelle <laughs> Vaughan was a number one at Swansea, Swansea. and very yeah. good. He yeah. was like good. a solid mid-table keeper. Come Gave that up to come and sit on our bench. Disgraced himself <laughs> sitting was- on our bench. Retired. We called him back out of retirement and he cost us in one of the cups. I can't remember mm. whether it was the League mm. Cup or the... And I said, I said brother, if you, oh do not God, hang your, if you do not hang your gloves up... I think it was the Mac- Macclesfield. Or one of those rubbish teams we went out to the cups. Really... Vaughan was in goal. Oh, was, and I remember um... I said, I'm done with this guy. Was it Mac- Rub him really? out from the history books, please. Michael Vaughan. Uh, Michelle Vaughan. No, Michel, Michel, no yeah. Michael Vaughan oh. from uh, Mossick. Michael Vaughan, the cricket player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he was class at Swansea, says Ade in the comments. Um, yes. Apparently, yeah. Aspilicueta could be seriously injured, kicked in the head, bleeding, according to Oof. Stelios P at Chelsea, who are still 1 0 down. I think we're going over to it now. To go, the stretcher is oh, out. Goodness. Maybe Rhys James comes on for Chelsea here, but with 15 minutes to go there, it's not looking good for Chelsea. You've seen, the, you seen the stuff around Rhys James' contract as well going on at the moment. Oh, they're well, lining him up to be the club captain. He's asking, well, I, he's always wanted to be, isn't he? Because whenever City fans say, when I'm like, who's the Walker replacement? And they say, Rhys James. I'm like, I'd love Rhys James, but let's be real. This is like saying Phone's going to leave City and go this. somewhere. He wants to be club captain, oh, but he wants 250 a week, I believe. Off the Oi. line from Sterling, twice there. Romeo Lavia. Um, Should have kept but him. We're going to keep you updated on that Aspilicueta one, but it's now Celtic 3, Aberdeen 0. Rio Hatate with the second goal of the afternoon. And Middlesbrough under Michael Carrick who have been pulling up trees and are two up at home to QPR yeah. um, we've also got the team news in for Newcastle versus Liverpool that one kicks off in just under an hour and it's interesting Nick Pope in goal Trippier, Shah, Botman and Burn, potentially the best back five there have been in the Premier League this season mm. Longstaff, Joel Linton and Anderson in midfield for Newcastle with Almiron Isaac and St. Maximum Maximum full sign. Also playing. They've got uh, Callum Wilson on the bench for this yeah. one. Anthony Gordon on the bench as well um, with some other names. So but that might Liverpool, be St. Maximum as a full sign, I believe. Potentially. Um, Alisson in goal. Trent. Joe Gomez, who had a great game on Monday against Everton. Van Dijk comes back in for Liverpool. He starts again for the Reds with Robertson at left back. The midfield's interesting. Jordan Henderson, obviously a former Sunderland player. He's always uh, getting pelters whenever he goes back to Newcastle. He partners Fabinho and Stefan Bacetic. Again, keeps his place as he's well-deserved in the midfield for Liverpool with Salah. Darwin Nunes through the middle and Cody Gakpo starts on the left and again on the bench some big names people Keita Firmino Elliot Jota Simakas Matip starting to look a little bit better for Liverpool in terms of um, injuries they're actually unbeaten in 12 games against Newcastle which I think you know we haven't lost uh, against them since December 2015 and I think um, Gini Wijnaldum scored two goals for Newcastle that day to beat us another great player Great player. How much you miss him? We haven't, we haven't replaced you, him. I've asked this question on a different show. Um, do you think potentially he's a bigger miss than Mane? Yeah, I think there's a lot to say. No. That. 
But in terms of, listen, if you're looking at output, of course, Mane is easily the bigger miss. But if you're looking at which player haven't we replaced, I think between Diaz and Gakpo, you get you cover yeah. Mane's goals. Yeah. But in terms Gini of the Thiago? consistency bro. of Ginny, bro, he, did, he never missed the game for us. And it was seven, seven and a half out of ten every single week. Liverpool fans know this, that we've never replaced I, him I, since I, he I, Yeah. Um, There's some unsung, unsung heroes at clubs, and I think he might slightly be one for you lot. Uh, yeah, no, I think I don't think there's anything unsung about it. I mean, there's two goals against Barcelona um, when we won four nil after energy, coming on as a I, sub. I always that game. thought last season when Pochettino left him out of the Champions League squad. Yeah, I thought, oh, this mm. guy's won a Champions League. Why are you leaving him out of the squad for to try Pochettino. and get another forward in? There you go. Anyway, right, let's look ahead, shall we, to that game. Um, you are heading to Newcastle. You had that success earlier on in the week. Beat Everton in the Merseyside derby. Um, and you've got a good recent record against Newcastle as well. What is your expectation for the game? This is, uh, this is a tough one. Massive game for both teams, actually. Um, with Newcastle having the final next week, with Liverpool just having one. You need to obviously gain momentum going into the Real Madrid game and then it's Palace away next week and they're winning today. So these are really two tough games for Liverpool in the Premier League. Um, the record helps. The record also helps that we're the only team to have beaten Newcastle this season at Anfield. Um, but this has to be a win for both teams, mm. really. Newcastle in terms of them scoring goals, drawing 11 games this season, they need the win. Um, but Liverpool, in terms of if we've got any ambition of top four, any ambition of top four whatsoever, you have to win today. Yeah. You have to go and break that record that Newcastle have held on to in terms of not losing at home this season. Um, and we'd be six points behind them if we won tonight with a game in hand. So I think there's no reason to throw in the towel in terms of giving up the top four, which I have done on previous DR shows this season. But if we lose today, then it's definitely 100% gone. So you, no, how, how much of a chance do you think? Right now, there's got? probably a, a 10% chance that Liverpool could get the top four. If we win today, because it's taking points off of Newcastle, who we're trying to replace, then I would say it maybe it goes points, up to 17.5% yeah, if we yeah. win today. But if we lose, it's down to well, 2%. If you, if you win today, you're currently in ninth on 32 points. Uh, Brighton and Fulham are currently drawing and Brentford are losing. Yeah, it's a good so, result for Liverpool. Yeah, if you win, that moves up to 35. You'll only move up one place above Brentford. But that definitely closes the gap for you. You know, you'll only be four points currently off of fifth. Yeah. Um, you'll be one point behind sixth place so yeah. it makes things look a lot brighter yeah. for you um, and kind of distancing yourself from Chelsea yeah. <laughs> and the rest yeah. of the pack pull away a little bit then. don't mm-hmm. fill them in them man do you yeah. do you think that um, Liverpool could still get top four yeah you do um, look the, f- the thing is in football, there's yeah. also PTSD, right? And when, when you've been involved in... Goal for Forrest and it's Chris Wood against Man City! Ignore everything I was Wood. about to say about his club. Oh, Fuck my them. God. Whoa! Wood. Wood! Sometimes you think... Chopping that wood up, guys. Sometimes you think life gives you You're wearing the lumberjack outfit. And then it just snatches it away from you, doesn't it? Don't say Do you know what? about me. I'm the, just the worst thing is the amount, me, mate. The I was amount, happy for The amount of chances... We've had. This is what um, we were talking about earlier. Harlan's yeah. chance cost in his team. Yeah, 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 Let's yeah, have yeah, a look at this Chris Wood mm. goal. Brilliant build up, and it's a tap in at the oh, back post. Number 39, Chris Wood gets you know his what? first goal for the I club. I do not want to see any substitutions. Yeah, if I see that Diaz is off of this pitch, then. Wow, can you believe it? Man City mm. needing a miracle now in the first. Sorry, in the last five minutes to turn this one around. Wow, you know what? What were you going to say about Liverpool, though? Is um, Diaz off the pitch? No, I think he's still on. Right. So it's, when, you've, when you've been through a tight race like we've been through multiple years with Liverpool and you've seen the team they can be, like, I still struggle to see the drop-off from Liverpool last season to the Liverpool of this season that... We can't find a way you, to get it back a bit. Yeah, th- there it must has be. To I work get at some point. Like I know yeah. a lot of Liverpool fans were screaming out in the in the summer about the whole midfield thing, and do you know what? In hindsight, I get it now. Yeah, but the drop off can't be that big. That I don't. They are still that team that could go on a 
winning run, in my opinion. I mean, look, I, I want my team to be that. <coughs> VAR team review, opinion. we're hearing. Good, at the City review grounds. that. Level up. <laughs> I, I have to say it was up. brilliant work from Brennan Johnson to get really around good. two or three so players. So what the, what are looking Him at? Him and Morgan Gibbs. What are yeah. looking yeah. at? Var, look at whatever the hell you want. Find something. Find something, That's please. That's desperate for any I reason. I think he's onside. I, I, think it, I think he's onside. And I, think yeah, I think it will stay onside here. Uh, do you want to read the super chat um, from Honesty Hortensia? Said, in my opinion, Kane should have gone to Bayern as the Lewandowski replacement. But Ew. Kane doesn't seem to be a player who can be too... He can be near two. So he needs to be the main guy. Oh, number listen. two. Uh, yeah. he, he doesn't want to move, quite frankly. He wants to stay in the Premier League. He wants the record. So Yeah. Like goal Premier League goal scoring record. Goal stands. Okay. Nobody cares about yeah. German dinner plates. Um, the Bundesliga. In October. Sorry. First. Yeah. Nobody cares. I'm sorry. <laughs> if he could go and win, go there and win the Champions League, that would be the only appeal to go in there. But he could also do that with an English side yeah. Yeah. while simultaneously breaking the goal score. He, he wants the record um, so unless he breaks the record and then he goes in his late 30s then I think you'll only uh, ever see him at play. which point do Bayern really want him oh no I reckon he'll probably end up going to he probably would do something with that NFL knowing him hey, I'd like it? to see that I'd, I'd love love like to see, to see him that. as a kicker Harry Kane is a kicker hey listen Harry Kane is a kicker listen Bale, Bale, Bale is <laughs> now in people would stay Bale's getting his PGA badges so yeah? I would love he's to see that he's going to be a golfer Kane in the NFL. Grealish is doing his diving badges, so ah, swimming could be on the cards. Look at that lad. That's a little bit of <laughs> I'm not That's rising to Alex. Uh, let's have a quick chat again. Uh, bring it back to tonight's game: oh. Newcastle, Liverpool. Yeah, oh, <laughs> what has happened, man? Um, I tell you what. Sorry, this this just sums up this league. Whilst mm. Daps is crying, let's finish off. Yeah, sorry, let's finish <laughs> Newcastle though, do you think that they have enough in the tank to get them top four? Yeah, they do because they've shown not only this season but the whole of 2022 that they can go on big runs unbeaten, they can beat big teams, they can do all of the things that you would expect a top four team to do. It's just at this stage of the season, which we are calling the business end, this is when your depth of squad um, shows and at the minute for Newcastle, I think having to play Anderson in a game like this today I mean obviously Bruno's still suspended but that that squad depth is going to start to maybe wear away a little bit now um, especially with this final coming up next week they're going to be giving everything into that um, but I think they can still maintain that top four it's just about the teams around them uh, are United going to pull away from them are they going to get more pressure from Tottenham uh, are Liverpool going to go on a, a 5 to 10 to 15 game run to get themselves back into it um, so I would still say Newcastle are are in pole position to finish third or fourth. Mm. Um, it's just, again, it means everything to Liverpool today to actually win this game and, and ruffle up a few feathers higher up in the table. Mm -hmm. But will it happen? I'm not sure. Julian, uh, I'm going to go for a Liverpool win. I'm going to go with 2-1. 2-1, what do you reckon? Phil? Slim win. Ooh. But listen, they, Newcastle haven't lost at home this season, so that would be a massive result if Liverpool could even do that. Anfield, isn't it? No. Newcastle. 3-1 Newcastle. What? Pissed okay. me off, man. Didn't even know where it was, but no worries. No, um, no, no bruv. You think you're breaking down, breaking down that defense? Come on. That this attack. Tell me about this it. Is it. So Salah is scaring nobody. Gakpo is scaring nobody. Did you see the last game? Who? Against Everton. Mm. Yeah. Too much. Yeah, fair enough. Too much. Ooh, what the hell Everton. was that? That was a poor They're like your friendly neighbours who you know. Like, they're, just no, they're not, bro. They are, it pisses me off when people say this, are. mate. It's horrible. Oh, they were singing Alex, murderers. You're coming like, around the, you come around to the house or the library? Yeah? <laughs> we'll have a beer together, lad. <laughs> well, when they're singing murderers at Liverpool fans, trust me, there's no... Yeah, trust me, it isn't friendly, bro. I'm telling you now, I was there. They're Ooh. giving it all sorts. Um, Chris Wood super chat says James Adams 499 he sends in to wow. see Dapp's tears <laughs> 89 minutes now and there's a goal for Fulham out of nowhere Ooh. which could impact Liverpool's um, you know potential outcome of today's game against Newcastle but Manor Solomon what Ooh. a name that is Manor Solomon gets the goal for Fulham um, for them to go 1-0 oh. up away at Brentford really which I tell you what actually, when they, when that's they no easy them. feat going one new up away at Brighton so, and they've done it can um, they hold yeah, on though we've still got to go to Brighton as well yeah. by the way and with that goal that will take them they're on what 30 I think that puts them a point behind Tottenham yeah mm -hmm. Fulham are pulling up trees uh, and with oh, two minutes on, to go City. they've scored this Man City was bottling it, better. saying Saifiak G what are you saying now Man City waste man says GL Block that's 
can you just give me some feedback and some thoughts? You've had a good show so far, yeah. Well, it ha- was nice up oh, until sorry, about five feedback. minutes ago. Um, <laughs> look, <laughs> listen, the league does not end today. It didn't end the other day. Um, yeah, but why do you keep giving them an inch? This is the thing. Oh, that's a because great goal from Manor Solomon, We're not, by we're the, not way. the same team. But, um, Fantastic goal, but that is. They have. There's a lot more twists and turns in this title race. It's that simple. And this Today's game is not over, again. by the way. This game is not over. It's Gundogan heads it back inside. I'm convinced. Any any team that us Tottenham fans say that we then support start losing. So yeah. maybe yeah, just, but maybe it's maybe your just, fault, Abby. I, I honestly, I just thought of something. Maybe we. I know. Don't don't, don't put it out there. Start back in Arsenal. Not say it out loud. Don't but. say it out loud. Mm. Yeah. Let's dare, do that. Dare to dream. I'm there. I'm yeah. there. I'm there. We, yeah. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> oh, Nagi. There's one. We're, um, uh, we're on the same page. If Adam. We, yeah. Adam yeah, with let's, the let's talk about that after. Let's Daps about better that. not go missing for a week after this result. Don't when go did, anywhere. Hold on. Hold I've, that, I've, I've never gone missing, so anyone's saying that. <laughs> Uh, LFC 3-2 and it'd be a shame for a player like Kane to end his career with a great goal scoring record and zero trophies legacy are built on trophies hence why Messi is the GOAT um, oh. big chance for City right at the end AGT why don't City play like this when we were challenging them yeah totally agree with you my friend um, that's why they've failed with their job this season of winning the league by losing it to Arsenal potentially well, big up Daps be ready yet. for an entertaining title race huh? that is not, it's not. I mean that's yeah, I was going to say that's like calling like this cheats that's why I said potentially <laughs> save myself um, Peb wants to grab his hair but he is uh, surprised he's lost it all says Luis Garcia um, big up Daps be ready for an entertaining title race saying come on you gunners we saw yeah, Big 100%. Steve saying to Robbie Robbie there's a big blue shark behind you and we smell <laughs> blood <laughs> do that again Robbie <laughs> Say it again. Right back. There's a big blue shark behind you. And we well, well he's, now he's technically right because we are back behind him again. <laughs> Do you watch Happy Valley? Well, right, look at Harlan's shirt. Sorry, What's going on? You sound like you're from Happy Robert. Valley. Robert. 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 There's a big shark, Robert. Robert. Um, but this is it. This is it. There, there's so many more twists and turns. So, so many more. Up the forest saying Uncle Guna. Yeah, right. Um, how's that Spillaquetta get, getting on, by the way? Um, let's have a little check to see. He's definitely gone off. Yeah, as um, Oh, I thought you said. Well, I mean, just looking at that, I mean, Chelsea are going to suffer by the looks of things. Another defeat. I mean, God at knows how much God knows how much stoppage time there is, unless they can salvage something uh, in the next few minutes. But I mean, this is this is very very damning from a Chelsea point of view. What did what did Chelsea do next? And who was it that said they won't lose to Southampton at home? That would have been sure me. sure it was you yesterday. Well, I, uh, forgive what, me I think for I, thinking that Chelsea have more more bottle. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, James Chelsea, Chelsea tried to lose man, the Dortmund midweek game same time as the uh, Arsenal City one as well. You keep trying to lose games behind closed uh, doors. Don't worry. We don't see go you. Don't go anywhere. You must <laughs> hear me. Is it blit? I'm telling oh, you. Oh, I mean, it's, it's absolutely terrible from, from a Chelsea point of view. Um, and really is, you, you, you actually have to Hello. start asking yourself. I mean, just looking at the substitutions he made. Um, Who's come on for Chelsea today? Sterling came on for Fafana. Um, Havertz came on for Mount. Mudrick uh, Mudric came on for Madueke. Um, Gallagher came on for Chilwell. Chalaba for Aspera Quester, of course, with the injury. Um, Fafana came on for Kudabali. Is that They've another injury? They've made six subs. They made a lot of substitutions. Have they used the concussion yeah, sub what? rule? Yeah, they must yeah, have. They've made six yeah. subs. That's a record yeah, in that's Premier League history, that surely, is, today. That is well, six subs. Quite, if got kicked in the head, it would have been... So a... they'd made five subs before that happened. Mm. And then they got the concussion sub. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe that's a record. I, I cannot <laughs> believe that that's It's full the time at the city ground. Manchester City have dropped points again on a day that Arsenal have won the league. Where does this leave the won title the race? Won the league. Won the league. I mean, sorry, sorry? won one against. Um, Watch your mouth. Blows it back Watch open. Your, this is your this your is mouth. this is the thing. We we keep they haven't won the league yet, Peter. Yeah, yeah, keeps been being open. I meant to say won a game. Whoops. There's but it is what it is. Every week, man. Yeah, yeah, there is. That's it. There that is, is it. That is it. So hopefully Arsenal's fan fan base have come back together. It's now, two points. And it's not, two points. They're not um, Arteta out. Points. Is it Arteta back in now? Reports are. So, um, <laughs> wow. Look, Who what knows is. what next weekend will hold? Next weekend they are away Do to Do you know what? The, 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 the thing I, set, I was saying yesterday on shows yesterday, right? The, the one thing up until Arsenal losing. It's all kicking off at the end, by the way. 
yeah, probably because Shelby's probably come back out looking for is um, football's a humbler and it, it just keeps humbler. Going, coming up no one can go on no club apart from Arsenal at the start of the season can go on some sort of winning run mm. it's like every time you start getting happy yeah. something like this happens absolutely and also with that uh, win for oh god oh dear Robbie is on the phone oh, last week oh, oh, he's on loudspeaker what are you saying Robbie <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens here when you come running on the stream and smiling. You think I didn't see you earlier? Oh, no. We, obviously, you did see. You just didn't you acknowledge. You think I didn't see you earlier? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I was hoping for earlier. I was hoping for earlier. Giving it the big smiles and all that when we were losing against... Um, when we were losing against Villa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it, I see it, I see it. I'll see you at the Emirates, oh, nice. Robbie. Yeah. I mean, at the Etihad, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't over yet, bro. It's a long way to go. I'll take her in. It's a long way to go. And you tell that hot Abby as well. <laughs> right? Hold on, do you want to speak to her quickly? No, no, no. <sighs> Can't hear you. <laughs> I'm cracking up. You're not on mute. I can hear you. And I just wanted to tell you to enjoy your weekend. Thanks so much, Rob. I'll see you on Monday. I will see you on Monday. Uh, It'll be a beautiful day. <laughs> and up the Reds tonight, Robbie, yeah? By the way, did Chelsea, did Chelsea lose as well? Uh, the they're game about is still to. ongoing, but uh, they're about to. They're about to. Uh, I think there's a bad injury to the Equator, so. Okay, yeah, well. Let's hope he's all right. But uh, yeah, that's. Have yourself a good weekend, bro. <laughs> Bye, Rob. I will do. I'll see you in April. And up the Reds tonight as well, Rob. Yeah. Take Ooh. care, buddy. Hold on. I love you. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Brentford goal. Yeah, we said that. Brentford have scored. I mean, I'm, Jan fully, I'm fully handing my notice in at the end of the season. <laughs> if, if you they, know what? I'll be honest. I'll be it. honest. He still didn't sound fully confident. No, he's not. He's still shaking. Don Sobby. Sh it it Don wasn't Sobby. we winning the league. It was now we're still in it. Uh, um, right, there was a goal during that phone call at Brentford. Uh, Jan out with the goal. It makes it 1-0 at full time uh, against Crystal Palace. That must have just been at the death. Everton have won that massive game uh, against Leeds. That has pulled them out of the well, bottom three. Uh, that has put them 16th in the table, level on points with uh, Bournemouth. With the same game to play. That's huge. Forest have drawn uh, with Manchester City. They stay in 13th currently. Wolves lost. Brilliant Bournemouth. win for Bournemouth and yeah. Lopetegui did not want to shake O'Neill's hand there. Mm. And Bour seen. Bournemouth themselves are, as well are out of the bottom uh, three. They They're in 17th, which puts the bottom three as West Ham, who are playing tomorrow, Leeds and we're waiting for this game to finish. Who because might they have beaten Chelsea. If my math is correct, that will take them out. Yeah, massive win for yeah. Everton today, that one as well. Abby Spurs uh, bottle spit it is contagious. Uh, thank God she doesn't support Arsenal. Um, oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. I'm working on something new for you guys. Oh, nice. Mm. We'll look forward to that one. Uh, we're still waiting for the full-time whistle at Brighton. Um, there's an interesting free kick right on the edge of the box for Alexis McAllister. Um, can he salvage something? But Wolves losing at home to Bournemouth. That's massive. It's now full time at Brighton. Fulham, massive away win for the Whites there. The only game that we're still waiting on now is, of course, Chelsea Southampton due to that concussion to Aspilla Quetta. Um, what a day of Premier League football. So what many day. surprises. Awful what day of Premier League what football. Day. What a Awful day. day of Premier League football. It is been pretty for poor you, day. Of course it was. Wow. It was so um, good driving down here. 2 1. Arsenal 2-1 down. Yeah, I know. When I got in the car after lunch, it was fun. And then by the time I got here... I'll get around Tottenham fans and look what happens. Typical it's contagious. <laughs> it's How do you believe in us? <laughs> well, I, I, listen. Hey, listen. Handle you, you your own beefs, You have the audacity yeah? to take points Handle off of us. Handle your own beefs, yeah? <laughs> we do oh, need to. We do need to. We do need to. We do need to. We're watching currently the Chelsea-Southampton game. There's 12 minutes added on, by the way. So Lord have mercy. Minutes. What is this? The World six Cup, bro? half gone. There is another six and six, around six minutes to go there yeah, until we see the end of that on. game. Um, said Arsenal bottle it. Rivals now can say City bottle it, saying Anthony in the mm. super chat comments. A lot of violins mm. in the chat as well. Great day of football. I hope Liverpool win for AGT, says Mohamed. Thank you, man. That's really nice That's of you. Nice. Big up to you, Mohamed. My dream. Um... Lampard and Gerrard were washed managers whilst Carrick is class. Yeah, uh, Carrick's having a blinder. Mm. 
Also, a day really? championship though weren't Lampard doing exactly. yeah, Lampard yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. And, then, and that's the thing up, we bro. have to wait on Vinny as well. Everyone getting carried you away with Vinny. We Vinny's have to wait to see what happens. Yeah. He is looking good, but we have I've to wait. In the premise, a different love, story. I yeah. love seeing how the teams Four who do the swashbuckling football in the championship. What did you have I love seeing how you adapt. Yeah, I want to see if he's still playing that front ten minutes. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Ooh, I didn't even see that. Yeovil won Notts County four, so the Glovers are. Yo, Not looking good there. Uh, also, a very good day for the Tavernier family. A goal for James Tavernier for Rangers, and then a goal for Marcus Tavernier today to win the game at Wolves. That's wow. a very good. Uh, that was just I've made that stat out of facts from my check, check his check his That's earpiece. Nice. Oh, they both scored today. <laughs> check his earpiece. Different leagues. <laughs> well, no earpiece here, buddy. <laughs> All gone. Oh God, Yeovil. I've always got a connection to them because my dad played for them. But did he? Yeah. Do you know that? Played for Yeovil. Yeah for a couple hundred games so he's a bit of a, a name down there but couple hundred wow yeah <coughs> in the 80s but yeah big loss that to Notts County at home that shocking <laughs> what a weekend come on you gunner says Redano um, Mbappe to Man United here we go says Ben Brown <laughs> more tears in Abby's eyes says Luke um, don't worry Daps Harlan will give you the Nordic meat shield later pause <laughs> Help. Hey, yo. Pause. Hey, Did yo. I don't even know. Uh, mean to read that. No, I didn't. No. No, I saw that tile and I was like, this would be all right. And then it said meat shield. So I'm sorry about that, mate. Um, <laughs> big up. Chelsea got put in a spliff saying, Jay Nath, uh, time for Newcastle to win tonight, saying 10 the item. Alarm bells for Chelsea not beating Southampton, who are due for relegation, is shocking. <laughs> Why did AGT read that, saying Yeah, DMYG? that's mad. Can we get, it's some, a good can we get comment. that clip? It's a good comment. Let's not. <laughs> can we? <laughs> it was more Daps' oh, face yeah, looking clip. at me when I said it. Because <laughs> I know when you start Nordic, I know what follows, and I'm thinking, hold on a minute. <laughs> to be fair, I've never heard that term <laughs> oh, no, the, 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 This is what I love about the youth. They I'm, teach you new vocabulary. I've Never, I've day. never heard that before. I cannot wait to use that Same. now. Have you not, that's what City referred to him as the Nordic meat shield. <laughs> I've, ne I've never you heard it. We refer to Harland as the Nordic, no, the Nordic meat shield. Yo. Yeah, we call him the Nordic meat shield. Well, why? Um, I can't remember the why, reason to Why meat and shield? Yeah. <laughs> Because that, in my head... Bro, I, I, oh, I know what you're thinking, Abby. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, that, is that thinking. why you call him No, that. that isn't why I call him... I don't call him... I do call him Nordic meat shield, but I don't call him for that. But who made that up? Where's the Just to be clear... <laughs> There's anyway. no more Nordic meat shield being taken anyway. When I get oh, home, okay. I'm going to okay. use that term. Oh, sure, man. <laughs> that fears, man. Oh, <laughs> that that man. Jesus, man. <laughs> we don't uh, Clipped on AGT. Oh, Cheers, mate. Goodness uh, me. Newcastle beat Liverpool 1 0, um, says Malveer. Yeah, um, brighten up our weekend. Daps Humble Pie. Tell ex Sophie Lyle has gone back to Robbie Lyle. Sobby. Sobby, yes, yeah, Sobby. Tell ex Sobby Lyle has gone oh. back to Robbie Lyle. Oh, they're fighting for yeah. custody of Sophie Rose or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it all wrong right now. It's all mad. Um, City fans are so cringe from GL Block. Cheers, mate. Um, Thank you. I was going to read that one out, but no way. I uh, saw that one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, G. Yep, no uh, thank you. Today is a great day to be an Arsenal fan, says Jay Nath. But it's a bad day. Well, in one minute 40, we'll definitely find out if it's a bad day to be a Chelsea fan or not. This, um, the, pot, the pressure on Potter after oh, this result is going to be mad. Huge, huge at home as well, right? It's at home. It's at Stamford Bridge. Ooh. Are they going to do something to be fair to you? If they do, I think it will probably be Pochettino that ends up going to Chelsea. Well, the only thing I th Ooh, do you know what makes it no, he'll aim higher than that surely Chelsea will aim higher than that that wouldn't hurt you it would be like your ex going Four, back to a man with all the money seconds. oh go on then you can have that oh no that would hurt that would hurt that would hurt by the way why are all Wrexham games always 4-3 or 5-4 because they absolutely can't defend and if no one has watched that Wrexham no 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 hold on that's why Paul it's because it's because of who's this is American TV this is drama this is Disney yeah 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 is anyone Right. It was on so Disney. It was on Disney as well, wasn't it? I yeah. loved it. I, <laughs> also, it finished like halfway through the season. I was like, are they going to bring more out? Because it was, oh, yeah, it yeah, was yeah, so of good. They are. But they, 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 they couldn't defend in the documentary and they still can't it's defend now. Four, yeah, but it's always a good game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, always Plenty good of 4 threes like, that TV. 13, 14. Yeah. 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 3 2, 4 3, 5 4. You score four, we'll score five. Mm. Hold that. Uh, right, one Hold that. minute left then at Stamford Bridge as the ball comes in. Chelsea have a corner. Maybe it's the last kick for them of the game. Um, power, power spy in one game's Arsenal fan says today is proof anything can change. Yeah, that's, th this is the thing I was, was saying to Arsenal fans. I think I said it last uh, on the watch long that 
if I if I go back to the first time we won the Premier Chance League. Chance for Madrid. Goes for goal. Oh, it's just wide. Oh. It's a volley with the last Michaela, kick of the Michaela, game. Michaela. Do you like that hairstyle? Mm, Backstreet Boys. It's giving, me, it's giving me like 90s. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah the, the, oh. the first time we won the Premier League, with seven games to go, we lost to Arsenal. And we had eight points to gain over Man United. And we still won the league. So it's, it's early. This is I not back you. I back you. I fully back you. I, I back us as well. I back us. But my frustration is when we make things difficult. Like last season, at times we left Liverpool back in. And it's like, why are we making it difficult? Full and time. It, it takes our focus away from the Champions wow. League when we're making the league difficult. Well, it's going to be a long old rest of the season. We're only just halfway Chelsea. through. Wow. Another okay. Defeat. Shall we wow, run? Shall we wow, run through the table wow. and, the, and the goals from today? So, full-time results. Oh, Brentford won, Crystal Palace won, Chelsea nil, Southampton won, Nottingham Forest won, Manchester City won, Brighton nil, Fulham won, Everton won, Leeds nil, Wolves nil. Bournemouth one and the earlier kickoff today was Aston Villa two, Arsenal four. So how the table looks? Arsenal are at the top of the table yet By again. Two points. Two points. Fifty four points. With a game in hand. With a game in hand. Yeah, Manchester City on fifty two points, uh, trailing them, but on their tail. United yet to play uh, as well. They uh, are on forty six points tomorrow. They've got Leicester oh. tomorrow. Forty six points. Newcastle uh, kick off very shortly on forty one points in fourth. Uh, then it's Tottenham in fifth, who play West Ham tomorrow. Fulham move up to sixth, thirty eight points. Uh, Brighton with that loss today, they stay in seventh on thirty five points. Brentford clawing a draw, 35 points. Liverpool, they can leapfrog them. Liverpool they can. Win today. They actually, uh, no, actually, you only move up to eight oh, if great. you're on goal difference. Uh, <laughs> Brighton still so above you. Uh, they're on 32 points. Chelsea losing at home. They stay in 10th position on 31 points. Villa with that loss, uh, 28 points in 11th. Palace, 26th and 12th. Forest, 13th, 25th. 25th, 25 points. Uh, Leicester, they are playing tomorrow. 24 points. Wolves stay in 15th. 23. Everton up 16th. Huge. Huge, huge, Massive. huge for Everton. Massive for them. Uh, and Bournemouth as well. Um, West Ham, they play tomorrow. Leeds, a loss. And Southampton. Even with, with their the win, win tonight, they're still bottom of that Premier League but a table. Huge win, managerless as well. Both, um, both those bottom two teams are without a manager. We got Captain Morgan, AGT looking sharp again. He says, "I'll take that." <laughs> it's normally the other way around, but um, big up to you. Right, I think it's time to call it a day, isn't I it? I do think it's time to call on it the a Saturday day. football show on DR Sports. It's been a pleasure to have Abby. Daps and Fuad in the studio as always make sure you are all across DR Sports not only tomorrow we've got the West Ham versus Tottenham get, or the Tottenham versus West Ham game tomorrow for you I'm presenting that one and then on Monday you do not want to miss the weekend roundup do you? I do if Matisse shows up he's probably going to have to put a bag on his head I, I, let's, take, let's make a bet will Matisse show up Monday? On time, or, on time or at all? at all because usually it starts with, I'm running late. Yeah. And then <laughs> yeah it's, it's Robbie who's been late recently. Yeah, Robbie it? has been late. All right, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go if he doesn't turn oh, up. Oh, Robbie's going to be a smiling and happy now. I think now. he finds a way to not turn up. I think he... I will... I think... Well, we have to go different, don't we? So you're going that he's not turning I up. I don't think he turns up. Okay, I'll, I'll say that he'll turn up, but after the show, he'll turn up for Talking Tactics. Mm. Mm. There you go. Let's Let us go. know in the comments if you think Matisse turns <sighs> up. But I'll be there. Abby will be there. Are you there on Monday as well? Uh, I don't know. Probably will be. Probably will Let's be. Though, you won't you? If we win. Um, but you guys better be there. <laughs> you so guys that's will be there. Want. And then don't forget Tuesday, Champions League back on DR Sports. We've got Liverpool versus Real Madrid. I'm hosting that. You are hosting that. I'm hosting that. that. Um, good luck to you for that one. And then, of course, on Wednesday, we've got this. And we'll play this video just before we go. Take care. It's been a belter. All the best from us at DR Sports. Not a good day for Manchester City, but an excellent day for Arsenal they go back to the top this has been the Saturday Football Show on DR Sports X and Robbie to play us out take care on Wednesday the 22nd of February we are doing a special stream over on AFTV a 12 hour stream to raise money for the Turkey Syria earthquake appeal you would have seen the horrific scenes and seen the amount of people that have passed away because of that earthquake and we're coming together as a football community to raise funds. Special 12 hour stream, you're gonna have all your presenters from AFTV. We've also got guest presenters. We're gonna be doing a Best of Enemies special on there. And 
I'm box office main event, genetically jacked, athletically stacked, half man, half amazing, modern day Mac, and I'm coming onto the Ops channel for Turkey and Syria. Forget these wastes, man. I'm doing it for Turkey and Syria. I'll be there like the Jackson Five, just knows for a great cause. And I'm telling you, bruv, I hope you lot can join me. I was just about to say, and I might bring you on. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he's on, man. We're going to be doing a Best of Enemy special, like you said. 100%. There's also going to be loads of other shows on it. 12 hours, we're raising money. Just make sure you check out the GoFundMe page as well. Mm -hmm. Over on the AFTV YouTube channel. Can't wait. Join us Wednesday the 22nd from 12 to 12. It's going to be big. And big up all the influencers getting involved, doing it for the cause for Turkey and Syria. I'm telling you, everything goes to charity and goes for the cause with them. You get me? Certain man might be doing it for a hairline, but I'm not one of them. Gang business. <laughs>